And we are now live direct from the wastelands with Soul Survivor Chef Wolfie teaching you how to make all the wasteland food from the Fallout series. It's the end of the world all over again. And over to you, Chef Wolfie. Are you there? Have have the bombs? Oh, maybe. maybe? Uh, he he might have gotten raided. Oh, thank goodness. I uh, uh, uh thought for a second there that. Yeah. Um, Maybe something happened, thank goodness. Nothing's happened at all. I am perfectly fine. What we're going to do is teach you how to make some of my favorite dishes. Uh, really, the only things I can find to eat anyways. First up, we're going to make some rad sag stew. Good stuff. Uh, if you can cook it long enough, you'll get rid of most of the radiation, but it is what it is sometimes. Rad Stew. Yes, yes. Luckily, a friend of mine is a fantastic butcher. He's yes. got plenty of red stag for me. When, when you mean butcher, do you mean like people who are genuinely butchers or, or are butchering people? Well, the only thing he told me was you bring me a body, I'll bring you, I'll bring it back in pieces. Oh, Chips has joined us right from the wasteland. How are you surviving in the wasteland at the moment, Chips? Chips is obviously here to learn how to make some some stew. Aren't we all? Good, good. I'm glad you're still alive. So we're going to start with a couple of ingredients. We'll have some nice fresh potatoes. I grabbed more of the brown ones. They seem to taste a little better than the red ones. This bad boy. One fresh gourd. You have fish and rum. I'm impressed you managed to find some rum in the wasteland. You must have gone rummaging for that one. Get it? Rummaging. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And, and did you grow these yourself in one of your settlements, or did you raid for these, one of the farms? Oh, we know. We've got a farm settlement back east. Oh. I sometimes make trades with them. It's usually fruits and vegetables, whatever they've managed to bring about from the wasteland. That's, that's quite impressive. I, I heard settlements can be quite hard to manage. Yes, they can be indeed, especially when you have somebody in your ear constantly... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've heard about such complications. I had to find a knife in this old place. I found this. I found this apartment abandoned. It looked like the person who used to live in it was a pig. I mean, I'm impressed. It's still relatively intact. I I I, I, I crafted a generator out back. Managed to get some of the power on. I think the refrigerator is working again. Toilet, not a chance. Oh, chips is redeemed. Hydrate. Let me just open a fresh can of irradiated water. Hang on. Purple. Purple has managed to come in from the wastelands. I'm glad to see that you haven't been raided. Ah, oh, that uh, that fresh old, old two hundred and ten year old water. It's been sealed away for a long time, but the plastic never expires. Yeah, which I, I kind of question, huh? Now that I think about it. It's some of the good things about roaming the wasteland. <laughs> it's amazing how they seem to enjoy the longevity of things that they didn't know was going to explode. Yeah, especially because sometimes I find there's just random bloody messes around me. You did get a gifted sub purple. You've forgotten. Some purple? Why are. Oh, oh, we've got someone live on the radio here telling some pretty good wasteland jokes. Why are graveyards so noisy? Because of all the coffin. Oh. <laughs> It's nice. I think, I think everyone needs some humor in the wasteland. It's easy to forget to laugh 
Well, unless I'm on a killing rampage, then I think I laugh too much. Nothing makes me smile more than a twenty-two pistol and some sucker in the sights. Well, you know, you do what you have to, right? Daisy has uh, come in like from this. the wastelands. Welcome. Good to see you're still alive. Just in time. We're just prepping to make some ragstag stew. Absolutely. How did you go hunting the ragstag? They can be a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes they're quite shy and sometimes they're quite temperamental. I found the ones that glow to be much more temperamental, especially when you try to pet them. They've got two heads. It's better for pets. Apple is asking Minx, why are you talking as if you're the main character of the story? I'm not. I'm clearly a side character. Clearly the main character of this story is Chef Wolfie. 100% correct. Daisy, full out outfit on the dude? Yes, yes, he's fresh from the vaults, but I think he's done quite well in settling into the wasteland. We appreciate his cooking from 210 years ago. I was prepared for this wasteland the moment I woke up. I got bored of city life. I wanted to go out and be feral, scratch some monkeys. There are no monkeys. I, I was going to promise. I mean, maybe there's some monkeys in the Institute, but I've only heard legends of that place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mel yeah, has there. wandered in from the life, the, 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 the wastelands. There's, there's more survivors than I thought there would be, actually. All right, let's begin the recipe. So we're going to use some onion, some carrot, some gourd, and a couple of potatoes. And we're going to make ourselves a stew. I also have some prepared red stack broth from the bones they left behind. I mean, they tend to leave them when you crush their spirit. And of course, some red stack meat. Now, this is a traditional a wasteland good. recipe, isn't it? Like, you actually found this written down, and this is traditionally the four ingredients used to make a ragstag stew. Well, it's certainly the four ingredients I was able to find to make the ragstag stew. This, this makes sense. Mel has bought some nuka with her. You better not say that too loud. There's a lot of people who will uh, maybe try and take that off you. Especially for the money. Now, I'm, the only reason I'm peeling these carrots is because I don't have enough water to waste on cleaning them, so I figure this is the more efficient method. A special guest has just radioed in. Let me just uh, quickly respond to them. As long as it's not Radio New Vegas, I got tired of that one. I'm a bit of a three dog fan myself. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Sorry, right, we're on the good radio station. Because I like the little crunchy bits on the outside. Oh. Some monster called it skin. That's gross. I'd only eat the skin of vegetables, I think. You don't know where some skin has been in the wasteland. Out in the irradiated sun. But I've never tried a vegetable myself. It's hard to get them out of the wheelchair. Oh. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> That's the same thing I said. Ah. Uh... Wow, you really do have that old world humor. Yeah! Another chef has crawled out of the wastelands. It's nice to see that more chefs have survived the fallout. How are you going, well, chef? Well, chef? Good to have you in, man. Where are we? Starting off with a traditional rag stag stew. Wolfie has managed to scramble up from the wasteland some onions, carrots, a gourd, some potatoes, all which was growing fresh in his settlements. 
and even some ragstag managed managed to hunt them down. I'd like to think he didn't use a fat boy. You can think that all you want. And for context, I don't mean a literal fat boy. <laughs> I do mean a weapon. I don't think there'll be many of them left in a post-fallout no, no, world. I only, have, I only have three fat men. You gotta take them out once in a while. Yes, you think... What I'm doing here is absolutely very popular. One of the farmers sent me about quick dicing. Just a little rainbow around your onion. Oh, Daisy has discovered a new location. It's uh your kitchen. So make sure you don't get raided. Say Nobody yet. Excellent. We're looking good. Oh goodness, this might be a second. <laughs> All right, we're only going to use half of this onion because we're not going to make enough stew to feed the village. Quite frankly, I'm tired of them mooching off of me. The settlements do mooch a lot, don't they? Oh, Chips is trying to search you. He came up hey. with nothing. Carla, out of the fire armor. I've told you this six times already. Uh, those settlements, they're always so demanding. There was two cents of onion left on that roof. Hey, hey, don't, don't use it. <laughs> no, nope. nobody said the S word. Preston, nobody said settlements. Just okay, go back to what you were doing. Is that Preston again? No, don't, don't worry about it. God damn it, Preston, man. He's so demanding. It can be quite the bore. I would raid, but you've already cut the onions, and that stuff in the air is bad for my irradiated skin. That's that's true. That's true. Dude, the vault suit. Dedication. I mean, he kind of came out like that, but um, one day we'll get him armor. I don't see what you mean. I'm practically invisible in this thing. Yeah, you don't stand out at all in the brown wastelands. Been, been shot at plenty of times. Only shot once is quite impressive. The the doctors are a little questionable. Sometimes you gotta represent your hometown or home vault, home settlement. I wouldn't call it so much a home as I would a sleeping situation. Sometimes you get frozen for 200 years, and sometimes you have generations of people living in a vault. Guess which one mine was. Did you ever find out what kind of vault yours was? Well, based on... But based on the dead wife, I'm going to say some kind of weird sacrificial vault. Well, that's, that's bad luck, man. I also hear it that the rings sweet. don't go for much. Turns out the rings didn't go for much at all. So we're just going to medium chunk all of these vegetables because we just want to get them around to the same size. They'll cook more evenly that way. I imagine it's quite important to keep your knives sharp in the wasteland. Certainly is. You'll never know who's going to run up on you. Unfortunately, leather armor really plays hell on the blade. So do you use the same blade for cooking and and uh, <clears throat> chopping? And stabbing. Yeah. Okay. No, no doubt. So, so hope, hopefully cleaned. Oh, of course. I washed it out back. That's where I found the rat stag. It was lying in a puddle of water. I just used it on the knife. Uh, y y yeah. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Oh, Mel says, I hear one vault had Liam Neeson. I'm not surprised that he's still going. He's got quite a strong career. Absolutely. Oh, and shaving. Do you also use the knife for shaving? I don't do a lot of shaving. Though, when I want to cut it down, I usually just grab some random piece of metal I found if it's laying around. 
Oh, Mock's got a good point. Radiation kills all of the bad stuff on the knife. That's true. You just need to wave it around. Exactly. Oh, Therina has wandered in from the wasteland. Really good to see that you've survived. Welcome, welcome to our little makeshift hovel. Sweet fallout suit. Yes, um, I think Wolfie's quite lucky that he hasn't had his vault suit stolen off of him yet. Borrowed. Borrowed. Things are only borrowed in the wasteland. If that's the case, then I borrowed a lot of guns. Yeah, that's what I like to say too. I mean, I'd return it to them, but they're just sleeping. I don't get why you choose the non-lethal method. I prefer just putting the gun to their head and saying sayonara. Well, you know, life in the wasteland. Uh, your, uh, Daisy is cooking as well. And what are you cooking? What did you manage to scrounge up? Oh, Therina managed to scrounge up a Fallout cookbook. That's quite impressive, considering all, all the books around the Commonwealth seem to either be destroyed or being returned to the library quite dedicatedly. I was told that it was important, and I made it my duty to return every single book I find. Yeah, did, did you get much out of that? I got a teddy bear. Oh, I'm sure Dogmeat would have loved that. Unfortunately, that was the problem. Dogmeat did love it. Uh, oh, Daisy is cooking some nice steak. I hope you enjoy your Brahmin. I hope you uh, didn't take the Brahmin from a trader, though. There's been a bit of an issue with these. Yeah, sometimes the raiders come through and kill the trader and leave the Brahmin just wandering around. Poor little thing. I try not to smile when I put them down, but... You only get lucky so many times. Oh, Therina bought it off of Amazon a couple of years ago. Amazon is still going in the Commonwealth? I'm so impressed. My company just won't die. Hmm. I wonder if that's where the Institute's hiding. The old Amazon warehouses. God, maybe that's who's running the Institute. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Is running the institute. It all makes sense. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably don't know who that is. See, from my time, he was a he's a multi-billionaire. Wow, he had a billion caps. How did he carry them around? I imagine he used some of the Chinese for that. Chips has managed to scrounge up a jar of dirt. I don't know how much that would sell for, but if you take it to Diamond City, I'm sure there's some sucker. Daisy's swearing that they didn't take it from a trader. They'd feel too bad. That's right, folks. You shouldn't kill traders. We need traders. Protect the traders. Especially if they pay you. Mel forgot how to read a century ago, so I'm really impressed that um, she's in chat right now. Ghoul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ghoul so, I have my vegetables collected here. I have some gourd, carrot, onions, and of course my potatoes. What we're going to do simply is going to place this into a pot with a little bit of oil that I've managed to squeeze by hand out of some uh, olives. By um, hand? Wow. What's your strength well, it's at? It's just a pile of chopped olives. Hello there. It's his evil twin well, that runs it. All right. I'm going I'm... to have to move you now so we can get to a position where we're able to cook. You got you got fifty coins, coins or caps? Coins coins aren't really as good anymore. But I hear that subway tokens are still in use. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Chef Lois is asking us to calm the fuck down. It's pretty exciting. We are way more to the left than the right right now. So excuse us trying 
of Best in the Wasteland. Hang on, let me let me see if I can fix it up here. We might be able to. Are we upside down? No, no. We're just a little over to one side. Just seeing if I can. I'm not very good with this whole technology thing. <laughs> Okay, I know what we're gonna do. So what I am going to do is I'm going to elevate this to a spot. Uh, chat box. Let's uh. Now we're going to cook this until it softens up a little bit. It creates a little bit of caramelization. My goodness, your, uh, your camera must have come from the super duper mat. It's having a hard time focusing. <laughs> sometimes, the, sometimes the theme can uh, make it a little iffy. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Caps, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caps. I, I, I'm still used to the old ages. Oh, we have another ghoul in here. Mel had a coin once, a silver dollar. Wonder what happened to her. I will try two fish and a jar run for your heavier vegetables. We need our vegetables. But but I hear there's a settlement probably only a couple of miles over that probably don't need all their vegetables. I will say that these are some magnificently large vegetables, says Mel. That radiated mutations have acted in your favor. I know, right? At least they're not alive. Well, yep. not alive in yep. some of the yep. ways I've seen yep. them. Now, I managed to take some seawater and it and evaporate it until I had some of this salt left over. It's a little fishy, but we're going to use it to uh, season up the dish a little bit. I'm impressed. You traveled quite far out to get that. How'd you go with the Myelex? I didn't have to go far at all. It was a tank, it's, it, there was a tank in the Super Duper Bar with some old lobsters in it. Oh, God. Uh. Mine looks like tend to try to stray away from. They don't seem to enjoy when you shoot them in the carapace. Yeah, I think that's why I don't really have many uh, Myelurk recipes these days. I plan on turning one of them into armor. Hmm. If they're bulletproof, all I have to do is get inside of that shell and then I'm bulletproof. Chips is going to rob the Institute for some more. Let us know, but I heard rumors that there's gorillas there. I know. Crazy. I don't even know what a gorilla is. You remember that guy we met in Diamond City? Just like that. Why would they want to recreate him? The Institute is a strange thing from what I've heard since I woke up. They do lots of weird things. Apparently none of the birds are real. Mel heard rumors that Jeff Bezos was there. You know what? I think I heard that rumor just earlier. Your poor little super duper mark camera. It's like you tried to rest your pit boy up on the side. Uh, Chips is still trying to search you and is still coming up empty. Let me see if I can gently dab it away. Mm. Nope. Yeah. Reception still isn't great in the Commonwealth. Focus. So what's this? You've chopped up all the vegetables and you've put some freshly hand squeezed oil. Once again, what's your strength at? That's that's crazy. And you're just Heating it on super? Hmm. And and is it on a medium heat? High? Yeah, we're all working on a uh, medium-sized flame. I'm pretty much just using leaves to keep it going. 
I like to use dollar bills, not because I like making it rain, but just because we don't really have a choice. That's what we have for fuel out this way. Nobody uses real world money anyway. It's all about bottle caps. Though if you go over to the West Coast, you'll find that people are a little obsessed with ones with tiny stars on them. I don't get the hype. Your super duper ma camera really wants to focus on your fridge. I'm impressed you dragged a fridge in there, by the way. The fridge was already here. It was dragging the corpses out of it that was the problem. That's that's much better. Mel asks, oh, so you're not burning the bones of your enemies? Oh, seems like Mel's a bit disappointed. Yeah, you're just fine. At least I can hear you. <laughs> Bing, are you paying attention to our guest? Yes? I mean, as much as I can. I might have um, popped a few mentats just to keep my charisma up. Now, I'm only going to take this as far as the onions begin to caramelize and a little bit of browning because I'm going to replace it with the meat. And I'm going to brown up the meat. And then I'm going to reduce some sauce in the meat. And finally, I'm going to add broth and the vegetables back to the meat. So, meat. I feel like meat's quite plentiful in the Commonwealth, actually. Not always the right type of meat, but we're not out of meat. I agree. I tried about some iguana bits from this man the other day. It's almost 10 caps. I'm excited, excited to have some um, ragstag stew instead of some squirrel stew. I was really over squirrel stew, which is weird because I don't think I've ever seen any squirrels. If you have, it probably wouldn't be You know, it's always nice to have being able to settle down, not being fired at, make something special. It is quite relaxing, isn't it? I, I'm still kind of keeping one eye out of the, uh, well, it's not really a door, whatever that is supposed to be now, the boarded up pieces of wood, but it's nice to settle down for a home-cooked meal. Well, I did, home. I did my best, but unfortunately the window is still crushed. Nell says, I'll be honest, I think I've been eating too many roaches, too much protein and not much else. Bad roach meat is a totally acceptable thing if you have nothing else to have. Why, the moment I woke up from the vault, I fit into the first thing I could see. Mm -hmm. Turns out that was my wife. Uh. Then the second thing was the red roach. I... Well, now I know what you did with your wife. Special, special. They used to call me that back in high school, special. They said I didn't have too many eyes. It's strange because I only have two. I, I, I think I think they meant your intelligence stats. Oh, you're talking about the special this strength, D E charisma, I luck. That's what I got. E yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So now what we've done so far is we've gotten the onions to sweat, releasing all of this nice aroma and flavor. It's starting to get a little bit of sweat sticking to the bottom of the pan. That's what we want. Speaking now, of... 
Oh, where are you oh. going? I am setting them in this convenient bowl. Oh. Press it was over at one point, but this is what I have to work with. Because so, you see, we forgot one little step. Uh, and if my thing would work, there we are. Yay! Huzzah. Very good. This is nice. This is nice. I didn't put this down when I was frozen. I woke up in it. Let's, uh, let's pop this back on the other side, huh? We'll take some of our red side here. Luckily, this isn't the glowing kind. That one makes my fingers tingle. Uh, I need to work back here. Uh -huh. And we're just going to cut this down into chunks. That way it's easier to stew. There we go. Good thing I've got my knee armor here. Yes, that'll work. So, um, Mel was mentioning rad roaches. Why do rad roaches make bad pets? Hmm, I don't know. Because they always bug you. <laughs> that rad stag is looking very fresh. Absolutely. He's killed this morning. Are you going to mount their heads? No, they told me to stop doing that. It's like half the fun. Unfortunately, they didn't enjoy how many I hung up around Titan City. Apparently, one of them was a pet. Who keeps a pet rat sack? Not that boy anymore. Ah, oh, returning to our pot. So you One of these days, we'll work on the full press. Please, thank you. Oh. So you chopped up your uh, venison, I mean, uh, rat, a rad stag? Sure. I have my rad stag in pieces, and now I'm going to give it a nice sear and a nice caramelization to add a lot of flavor to this otherwise practically flavorless soup. The hardest thing to find in the wasteland are herbs and spices, but luckily, thanks to a shaman I met back in the West Coast, I figured out a few good ingredients to use. Some flowers make for a fantastic spice. That's really true. I really don't see many herbs and spices in the wasteland. Use some more of this fishy salt. Sorry, what did I get what? Right, I am going to. There we go. I like these. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what have we got going on? <laughs> Sorry, uh, the, the memory was just making me laugh. See, I found it on a man who was hanging out of a window by his ankles. By his ankles? I have seen some yeah, skeletons and weird people. Sometimes you just have to piece it together. Oh my goodness. I've actually never seen ragstag cooked venison. What does it taste like? 
surprisingly not as easy as you would think. The radiation does add a bit of spice. Mm. It tastes like a Brahmin if the Brahmin tasted like it was eating wild game. Ah, huh. okay. And how many packs of rat away would you recommend after this meal? Oh, I would suggest it during the meal. During, I'm trying in. It's That's clever. In fact, if you're having line racks there, just go ahead and cook it in the right uh, right away. It's going to be better off, if, even if it won't taste good. That makes sense. I say again, my friend. I was just humming to our radio station. I really feel like Diamond City's radio has gotten a lot better recently. He's just gotten more confidence. I absolutely agree. He seems to be more of a confidence man lately. But it's a good thing Miles went out and did that mission. Got another joke for you, but I tell it at a great risk. So let's hope that uh, none of our friends that are looking after the Commonwealth are listening right now. But how do you know if someone is a Brotherhood of Steel member? Hmm. A giant scary armor is my usual indication. Don't worry, they'll tell you. That reminds me of this thing we used to have back before the war. They were called vegans. Vegans? What's a vegan? They, that, they were another group. I'd love to tell you who they were. Uh, they managed to keep up with eating leaves and stink. It was crazy. It was a crazy time. Uh, I guess that would be quite a helpful skill. I mean, if, if you know what I'm saying. Back then, they had the choice. Hmm. Now, what I've got going on here is the bag is releasing its liquid, so I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure he should have drained it more, but that's okay. I see it releasing the liquids. Remove those to the front and reuse them, but you know, that way I can actually get some crispiness going on these bad boys. Oh, that's right. I remember you had a bowl of the broth prepared, didn't you? So you just added it to this? I haven't had any broth yet. This is simply the moisture escaping the. Juices. Now that all that's taken care of, we can do a little bit of browning. Like my favorite machine gun. Mm -hmm. Say, what do you get when you combine a pipe pistol with a super mutant? What what do you get when you combine a pipe pistol with a super mutant? Oh, God. Hot dogs? Oh. No, broken arms. Ah. Turns out this seems a little tougher than a 22. Did we scare away one of our guests? I think they've gone off to uh, survive for a little bit. Oh, oh, our other guest? I suspect they're uh, still having their own battles. Let me, uh, let me check what they're up to, huh? <laughs> I looked over, and they're watching us. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> so now we got a little bit of browning going on, but the main thing is that it's so you, 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 you browned the venison. Who would have never created such a delicious dish before? Maybe asking yourself, but your vegetables aren't sauteed very much. Well, you see, making a stew is something that takes time. Something that takes time. Cook slowly, and starting to cook slowly makes everything nice and soft. Okay, so you chopped up your vegetables, you cooked them in oil, you then added your venison afterwards, you poured the juices into the broth, 
and then browned it off and then added your vegetables back in to cook until they're soft. We then they will be cooking in the remainder of the broth. Is that that right there? This makes sense. And you added some salt, that's right. Yes, of course. Just the things we can find around the way, but a little bit of salt. I also managed to find a couple of dry plants, little herby ones. I'm not sure what they're called. <laughs> smells like a rose. I call it Mary. I have still never seen herbs in the wasteland, so I'm impressed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a foil and then cover it up on a simmer and let it set, take care of itself for an hour and a half. Now I can see now, why you uh, wanted to raid and grab a camera arm. Now it makes sense. Grab a camera arm? Camera arm. You mentioned about the camera arm, and I'm like, now it makes sense that you uh, wanted to grab one so it comes further out over. It would have been fantastic to have. And honestly, I could have mounted it in a place where I could have moved it back and forth without having to change the camera angle. <laughs> It's all right, next super do for Mark Raid. It'll be in tomorrow. <laughs> so we're just going to bring this to a boil first, and then I'm going to cover it, and we'll move on to our next thing. Okay. What are we making next? Next, we'll be making some blanco mac and cheese I managed to find in the bottom of a road, mole rat hill. Bottom of a mole rat hill? Absolutely. That's true, I do have mole rat problems. They just burst up everywhere. It's the strangest thing. I found a golden statue one day of a woman holding a rose. Something had a trumpet flower. A golden statue of a woman holding a rose? I can barely read it, but the other side looks like it read it to Bella. <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, I'm glad somebody does, because I have no clue. Something important to remember, especially with the massive amounts of radiation we're, putting, we're consuming from this dish. Whenever you're smelling something, walk the chemicals towards you. Don't just put your head over it. <laughs> Mel has said, all these modern cooking shows are always using wacky ingredients to stand out, like herbs. It's true. I'd never heard of a herb before. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this is just dead grass, but I think it'll add some good flavor to the meal. I feel like even grass is rare these days. It's much more common in Boston. Where I woke up. From my vault. <laughs> From my vault. What? No. Preston, no, there's no there's no point in the set. Nobody needs help. No Preston, I'm not gonna no. Is that Preston again? My my, my hit boy's been updated. Tell Preston to look after his own settlements. God damn it, Preston. Well, he made me the general. He didn't want to do anything but tell me what to do, which is strange because I'm the general. That's weird. So you woke up from a vault knowing nothing about this world, ran into a guy who seems more experienced about the Commonwealth than you, and they made you a general? Yeah, well, I showed them I could make my tax pounds. Mel, I once saw a vault that was just filled with plants. It was nuts. Couldn't stay there long enough, though. The plants kept moving and bit my leg. I've heard legends of that place. I, we got all excited when we were researching this because we thought it was a farm vault. And it, it it had been a farm vault. It just went a bit out of control, huh? Last thing I heard, there were little green men. Little green men? Like aliens? That is somebody that didn't decide to pay for a while. Um. Uh. 
Oh, I can see the Radstag fat releasing. Yes, indeed. Radstag is actually a much more lean meat than most, especially a uh, ramen. Is it? Huh. They don't need a lot of running. That's Especially true. with the extra two four legs. They do run a lot. That's really true. Brahmin kind of <laughs> waddle. Yes, like a lumber. Though when you've got 500 pounds of provisions packed onto you, I'm quite surprised they can move it all. I'm surprised dog meat can move it all with how much you load him up with. He's a loyal companion and a fantastic carry on. Alright, we've started to get a little bit of a boil going on. So I'm going to turn this down to medium. And we're going to place this cap over top. And we're going to forget that this exists for the next hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay. If you don't get raided in the next hour and a half, I'll be impressed. I will too. Luckily, I have some shotgun traps set up. Well, sorry, I was distracted, but you guys talking about dog meat? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Yeah, yeah, uh, for some reason, I don't really understand why, but there's this dog that wanders around the area that's famous, and they called him dog meat. I don't really know why they named him so literally, but I guess they were quite hungry. Oh, this really does feel like a wasteland. I have, like, no water pressure. You got no water pressure? Yeah, no, no, I do not. I need to uh, call, uh, call, I forgot his name. I mean, you must be used to having an overseer come in and fix all your problems. Um, I don't like to mention which vault I'm from. People tend to look down on me a little bit. I think that I'm not as capable as surviving in the wasteland. Uh, vault 101, eh? God damn it. Okay, if my own got turned into a motel, I'd be sad too. Yeah. So I'm going to take some of this dairy irradiated water and boil it for a moment, only to get it hot. There's nothing to remove. So what is this now? So now we're going to work on one of my favorite things to find, lamb go mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. But because we both know that the, the, the cheese packets inside have long since rotted away, yeah. we're going to use the original packaging. Oh, thank goodness. I tried it once before. It was very hairy. Lampo always looks way better on the packet if you can see through all the grime than it does when you take it out. Certainly so. So it's certainly... Since we use the noodles from this, they've been packed with so many preservatives, there's no way they're going to go back. Mm -hmm. Right after we get the water boiling. Now, a benefit to owning a few settlements here and there, I probably shouldn't say the word owning, but quite frankly, they do work for free. Mm -hmm. Our lovely farm owners are able to make some of the most fantastic things. For instance, I have some heavy cream. Ah, they got Brahmin, huh? They have plenty of Brahmin. I took them from a few treasures. I so guess for this recipe, we'll be using some heavy Brahmin cream, some uh, aged white cheddar. Oh, Seeing wow. as that mango mango cheese tends to end up being white after you've cooked it, I wanted to go for something a little more seasonal. Mm -hmm. 
I'll tell you what, my artisanal cheese bread is the best in the business. We trade from here all the way to the wasteland on the west coast. Huh? Yeah, that's what I said, we'll be using some uh, aged white cheddar, and some parmesan. Wow, your settlement are really good with their Brahmin, huh? Sometimes too good. Sometimes we have a Brahmin emergency and I have to go call the numbers. The bulls tend to be problematic. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of a cheese grater, so I'm going to have to cut them by hand. You don't want to watch something, something as boring as water boiling. But come over here with me. Hang out. Have a nice time. Chat by the fire. So it was a transition. Nice. So I'm simply going to cut my cheese to small enough pieces that it will melt faster. That makes sense. Remember, it's always good to keep your knife sharp, whether you're cutting cheese or flaying humans. Uh, raiders. They're not humans. Uh, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. Wow, your melee workshop skills must be quite high to keep your knives this good quality. They're, they're plenty high indeed. I have a cool key with a red dot side on it. Unfortunately, we, we're going to have to have a, a break from the wasteland in about five minutes just to let everyone know. But that's all right. Three minutes is enough time to go out for a quick raid. And then we should be undisturbed from anyone for 60 minutes. I'm disturbed. I am always disturbed. I am not surprised. Now I know what you're asking yourself. You're asking yourself, but whoa, those are very dry cheeses. You're not going to have a very nice sauce that'll be, oh, sandy and dry cheesy. Nobody wants that. That's why I was able to find some very, very preservative packed mozzarella. Ah. That's right. This, man, this little ball here managed to make it 200 years through an ice age, at least my personal ice age. That is a very concerning piece of cheese. Oh. It smells like lemon. Still moist. That's the slime. Uh. And, the and it tastes just like a gorgonzola. Huh. No wonder the super mutants are always hanging out in those kind of places. Chips has returned from the Institute. How did it go? Did you find out what a gorilla is? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Go gorilla. Gorilla. Go 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 gorilla. Go gorilla. Ooh. Finally, I found my Vault 13 canteen. Oh, ah. I lost that thing. a good piece. Some carrier left it for me. Let's see. How much cheese do we have? I think we'll have plenty. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Now, the best way to store your cheese when you're living in a wasteland is simply to cover it in as much stuff as possible, because it'll hold. Oh, Chip's also got some alcohol and food. 
I didn't know the Institute had alcohol. No, I'm definitely going to have to rate it. The Institute has alcohol? The Institute has alcohol. Or we're going to have to change that to the Institute had alcohol. True. Chips took it all. Chips, my friend. You're going to share that, right? All right, while you properly make sure that you are storing your um, aged cheeses, very aged, extremely aged, beyond aged cheeses, we're going to go for a quick break from the wasteland. So if you guys want to run out and do a raid, please come back in three minutes and then we will be undisturbed for 60 minutes. And for those who are subbed, you get to hear more ramblings from the wonderful Chef Wolfie. Perfect. Here, have some. Chips shared. Huzzah! I like people in the wasteland who share. It means I don't have to borrow. You know what they say, people who borrow don't always give it back. I mean, I would give it back if I didn't, if I didn't, you know, make them sleep. <laughs> Say, you're not playing that ad for uh, sugar bombs again, are you? Ah, uh, look. I mean, I, I, I don't really have a choice over the ads. We just still have them programmed from 200 years ago. I really like the one What's with the board game. A board game? Yeah, like Blast Radius or something. Looks like a good game. Oh, I haven't played that in over 200 years. <laughs> Did you have the weird pony? Uh... Oh, yes, yes. I bought a Giddy Up Buttercup for my daughter. That's it. Giddy Up Buttercup. I'd ride that thing everywhere. I'm just adding my noodles now. As you can see, they came from this tamper proof bag. So that I know none of the radios decided to fill it with sand like last time. Yes, because plastic definitely keeps radiation out. I believe it's that kind of special lead line plastic, the, one, the kind you can see through. Oh, see through lead line plastic. Yes, I heard that technology was available. I'm not too worried about it. I think my body's strong enough to resist radiation. Hasn't affected me so far. It only looks like it. Yep. I still don't know how you get away with having no armor. Something about vault people. Who needs armor when you look this good? I had a teacher that once told me I must be the luckiest man alive. I'm not sure why he told me that. Uh, I wonder what your luck stats were. Mel, ah, I see Wolfie uh -huh. went to one of those special vaults. Special as can be. It's definitely one form of special, as I'm starting to slowly realize. F is for strength. P is for personality. Yeah. And welcome back those who were just having a quick raid. We uh, have just packaged up our extremely aged cheeses. And uh, I think I saw you add some salt to the elbow pasta that's gone into the pot. Yes, I have indeed. It's going to taste like fish, like everything else, but it's going to be fantastic. This land does have an odd taste of fish all the time, that's true. Especially when you pull these out of toilets. We... Uh, mm. Do you, uh, did you ever do that thing when you were looking into a toilet because you were just checking if something was in there and then you accidentally drank from it? Was that just me? It's the strangest thing. It happens all the time. 
right? You're just looking in there and suddenly you dip your head in you're and just, take a chug. You're just drinking, drinking toilet water and then getting grabbed. Really weird. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh, Chips is redeeming some hydrate. Let me just open a fresh can of fresh water. I'm a bit spoiled today. I just wanted to splurge out a little. It was really refreshing. Thank you. I like when we're. Uh, I, like I like when we're encouraged to kind of splurge out of our rations a little bit. Now it says, "Oh, I've been drinking toilet water for years. The rads really illuminate my skin. Really gives me a glow. I've heard it does give a really nice glow. I'm not sure if it's a healthy glow, but it's a glow." Kind it of is helps a glow, me, uh, certainly. Helps me find my way home at night. So we're waiting for the pasta to boil, right? Yes, we are. We're waiting for the pasta to boil. In the meantime, I'm sitting here staring at my cheese. As you can see, it's a wonderful concoction. To remind you again, we have aged white cheddar, we have Parmesan, and we have mozzarella that I found in a cupboard. Oh, Chips is searching you again and has come up with... You're still empty. But he's got he's got some nice cheeses. No, I had a gun around here somewhere, and I don't know where it's gone. Uh, I'm sure it'll turn up. Let's see what jokes we have. What do you get when you cross a deaf claw and a, a a yao guy? I've never seen I've never seen one of them in my area. I think I'm lucky. A yao guy? Yeah. I've heard so about So you remember them. the gorillas you were talking about? Yeah. It's like that, but with bigger claws. I hear Beckler's really tasty. bad hair. Well, apparently if you cross them it's the fastest way to an early grave. I don't get it. Uh, I need to ask Three Dog for some better jokes. Three Dog, I met that guy once. He told me some kid was looking for Liam Neeson. Ah, oh, did they find him? Don't know, never heard anything again. Went down to Megaton and saw that it was just a crater and then I decided to head on back to the east. It was really disappointing. Looked like a bomb had hit it. I know. There was a ghoul in there trying to get me to help her with a book. With a book? Yeah, some kind of survival guide, which I found was quite of ironic coming from a ghoul. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say it, but you'd think, uh, oh, well, I guess, I guess they did survive really well. The ghouls fared better than most, I'm afraid. Why did the Brahmin go to space? I couldn't tell you. To see the moon. Goodness gracious. Oh, Mel is from Megaton. I think you met my Auntie Ethel. No, no, her name was Moira. Oh. Mm, I don't think I stayed there long enough, I'll admit. You certainly didn't stay through the explosion, I imagine. Kind of made my skin crawl a little bit. Yeah, I heard tell it was because of some guy named Bert. Never knew oh. who that person was, never met him. Oh, Mel knows. Ah, oh, that bitch Moira. I don't know if she's a bitch, but I do know she had a very strange accent. Especially for the West Coast. Oh, Lumen has crawled in from the wasteland. Welcome. Really, really glad to see that you're still alive. They have discovered this new location of Wolfie's Kitchen. Welcome. What's the button do? Which button? 
What button? Where button? Lumen has found a button. I don't suggest pushing big red buttons in the Commonwealth. Last time I pressed one, three rockets flew out from this very strange silo. Oh, that was you? Oh, I heard about that. Oh, Lumen is barely alive. Oh, well, look, you know, ghouls are welcome too. We don't discriminate. I'm doing now that I'm draining the pasta. It's finished. Um, I welcome. We are currently no. making Blamco mac and cheese, but Chef Wolfie realized that maybe the uh, old school ones from the packets isn't that fresh, so his settlement provided him with cheeses and cream. Cheeses and cream. Oh, please work on the first press. Come on. What is your problem? Last time I pressed a button. Uh, this is easy. Megaton changed a bunch. Megaton's been having quite the hard time. So, to our mac and cheese, we're going to add a little bit of our ramen cream. We go back then. Maybe it's maybe it's in a better state now. It improved, right? Right? Well, if you call a smoking crater an improvement. I mean, I think anything could have been an improvement over that place. Come on, little super duper mark camera. You can focus. You can do it. It's trying its eyes. It's, it's trying its eyes. The little cam that could. Ooh. That actually looks really good. That looks way better than the Blamco that I get out of the packet. It's still having a hard time. Said, I mean, improve for me at least. Hmm. I, th I, I maybe I'll go back sometime. I might travel with the next trader I see. So I'm going to go ahead and add my cheeses. So this is cream and. Pasta, which you've cooked in water with just a bit of salt, fr fresh water, tr if you can, and then you're adding your three types of cheeses. Yes, but I realize I'm doing this in a very strange way. Well, not really. See, in the effort to not overcook the noodles, normally you add the cheese as a sauce afterwards. And I may have skipped that step. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to strain out the cream. That bottom's that just going to have to stay in there, unfortunately. <laughs> Wait, so what were you supposed to do? <laughs> well, I'm going to overcook the noodles if I do it this way. Oh! <laughs> Look, it's been 210 years. He needs to remember how to do things. My wife needs to do all the cooking. Still thawing. Uh, Lumen thinks they have COVID, by the way. I feel like death has entered my body. I heard that might have been what caused the fallout. Yes, the tensions game between China and America, certainly over that Wuhan flu. Again, I mean, so, to the heavy cream. okay, add the cheese to the heavy cream. To the heavy cream, we're adding the cheeses. And I'm doing this so quickly because I have a very thin layer of heavy cream under a skillet. It will heat up very fast, so I don't have to worry about how it's melting. Go ahead and add the mozzarella as well. This should be more than enough cheese to make a nice sauce. Yum. So a hard cheese, a mozzarella. Mozzarella is so good. Mozzarella is excellent. It makes fantastic sauces. Of course, we're going to add a little bit of salt. And I managed to get some long pepper for this one. Ooh. Go ahead and crush it up and put it into this very convenient container I have. You have some nice settlements. Yeah, you actually got black pepper. I'm impressed. It 
basically going to stir it around and make sure that I cheese it up nicely and incorporate it the best way it needs. So yeah, interesting. Yeah. You were saying something was interesting? Yeah, it's just really interesting to see someone actually use a whisk to whisk things and not just melt it down and make it into armor. Some of the strangest armor I've seen made out of whisks. Usually face covers, sometimes shoulder shields. I yeah. stab right through them every time. This one? Why a cat? I usually just use a stick. Oh, wow, you've really upgraded. I'm glad you found a whisk. Cheese sauce is already starting to come out. We're getting nice and... Yep. I see it. With this being a heavy cream, it's okay if it gets to, like, a high simmer, but you don't want to particularly boil it, as you will still break your sauce. What does breaking sauce mean? That means that the fats on the waters will separate. You'll end up with an oily mess of chunky cheese globules. Lumen is dying. Um, can you can you leave your stuff somewhere convenient so we can pick it up later? I just want to get it before the raiders. That's all. Absolutely. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Lumen. I I hope you remembered Goodbye. to save. Who doesn't, who doesn't forget a quick save now and again? Go ahead and add some more cheese. More cheese. This, this should be plenty. This should make it absolutely delicious. It's so far, by the way, been only about 20 minutes since we started our stew. And it's chugging along just fine. You may wonder how I do this. Well, it's because I have a sundial outside I built myself. Do you even have a sundial? Um, Koi, your mega stinky fish mama gay. I will pass on this message to you. I um I'm I'm sure I can convince a trader to carry this message. Hang on. Here we go. Now that is some good stuff. So you want to be careful on your salt content as well. Barbershop has a uh, pretty salty flavor and cheddar can have a pretty fair amount as well. So sometimes it's better to season after. Got it. That's all right. I don't really feel like trying to get more salt again. So less can be better. Absolutely. I'm using my Voltec verified glove. Oh. We'll go ahead and get our cheese back. Our noodles back. And we'll add our cheese sauce. Stirring them right together. Lupin is genuinely sick of what they think is COVID. That is uh, not good. I'm really sorry to hear that. You're having your own fallout. Uh, that looks so delicious. It sounds just as safe. I'm just making sure that this is well mixed up and I have the parmesan that I put in earlier nicely melted. There we have a nice side dish for the red segment we'll be done in an hour. Our Blanco mac and cheese. Oh, it looks so good. That looks way better than the package stuff. I need to go steal some Brahmin.
putting away more of this tea than I do just that's right. Go ahead and look in our stew real quick. Oh, sting. <laughs> it was like it was briefly really great. There it is. Nice. All right, now. Of course, our stew will be done in just a little bit of time, so might as well hang out, maybe have a couple of bites of our mac and cheese. Ooh, tell us what it's like. Very nice, actually. Ah! I was worried the cheese was going to have more of that weird radiation bitter flavor, but they seem to have worked that out. I'm jealous. Very jealous. It's like having a nice bechamel with a bit of uh, age from the cheddar. Sweetness from the mozzarella. Softness. Ah, fantastic. Yeah. Lemon, I just slept for 12 hours and I'm still exhausted. I hope you're in a nice settlement. At least do yourself a favor and build a nice bed. Yeah, that's You're not going to find a new mattress, but you can find the least stained one. That's true. Or, if you did, just use someone else's mattress. It's kind of weird sometimes how I just know that mattresses are owned, even if no one's around. Yes, it's the strangest feeling. You, you've murdered everybody in the camp, and yet you just aren't compelled to use the bed. Huh. Deep down inside, it's just still their mattress. It just still feels owned. The only thing I worry about being deep down inside is my bullet deep down inside their guts. Well, try not Nothing to spray goes. it over the mattress. What's got to do what a raider's got to do? Raid. Raid raiders raiders raid. They do they do be raiding. I mean, you got to be good at something in your life. Short short life. Although, I'm really uh, impressed with the engineers. What was that? You were mumbling off into the oblivion. I was saying the, uh, the heat of the radioactive uh, evening is making me uh, start to sweat. I had to open a window. Oh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all the radiation. Oh, absolutely. Our skin is looking nice. It's still going to be a little while until it's completed. Have you got any uh, fun, fun uh, wasteland stories, Minx? I have another great joke. You ready? All right. Why are caps used as currency in America? Why? Because America is a cap. Capitalist country. No, we're not. We're a democracy. <laughs> what is it that the that the that a a great teacher once said that death is better than communism? <laughs> death is a preferable option to communism. That's it. That's it. That was a uh, that was that was quite a crazy time in the Steel Brotherhood. They uh, yeah, they had when we joined. Do you remember the time the Steel Brotherhood made a mech <laughs> to attack a building down the road? To dig a hole as well. Oh, and to dig a hole, yeah. And that is a fantastic hole digger. That's what I use my mechs for. You have a mech? I just have power armor. Thirteen I... of them, actually. Th Thirteen? Oh, is that all? Yeah, they're everywhere. Isn't it weird how we can't seem to keep a generator? Like, we have a generator going for a very long time in our settlements, but powering power suit armor for more than 30 minutes, real difficulty. 
real difficulty. I just imagine it's the luck of the draw. Our armor tends to be very, very power hungry. Um, it, for, for, for Chips, who raided the Institute earlier, why do synths fart so fast? Because they were made by the Institute. I think that's the only fart joke I've ever told in my life. I just need to point that out. You could have picked a better one for your first one. Still wasn't a fan. I imagine if there was a fan, it would have been worse. <laughs> this is a little this is a little bit breaking breaking the fourth wall, but Fallout three, where's my father? Fallout four, where's my son? Fallout seventy six, where's my refund? <laughs> <laughs> where's Truth. anybody? Truth. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> I think it's the best one I've heard so far. <laughs> well, I suppose I might as well uh, break out to the next thing. We're going to go ahead and make a recipe that I found while I was sneaking around Nuka World. Oh. Are we? I'm really excited. I want to see. I want to see this. And it's not even just Nuka Cola. You're actually going to make Nuka Cola Quantum. That's right. The hard part was I wasn't able to get the strontium nine, so I had to settle for some cesium one thirty seven. But they should what? be like about the same kind of glow. Is it? Is it actually? <laughs> it's a, certainly an isotope. If I had my Gaga cutter on me right now, it'd be going crazy. Oh my god! And that's consumable. Wow. Well, people consumed it. Okay. To be honest, I think people consumed worse 210 years ago. You may be right. So it was not... My goodness. That was not something I wanted to get wet. Oh no! What got wet? Nothing that isn't broken, luckily. Ah, where was I? Oh yes. So I made a simple syrup here out of a bit of a uh, Stevia leaves that I use for the sweetness, some hub flour for the color, ah. and for flavor, Powerade. <laughs> Powerade. <laughs> so we're just going. <laughs> Milk fresh from uh, Power Sits. <laughs> I managed to find this lucky bad boy in one of the down one of the underground vaults. Uh -huh. So first we'll start with a little carbonated water. Just about as far as we need to go. Yes, Lehman, we're making Nuka Quantum. I'm really excited. And then we're going to add our syrup, which I will stir with my stirring stick until we get the, the nice blue color we're looking for. And just enough flavor, just like you get out of a uh, vending machine. At least, you used to be able to get out of a vending machine. Lumen managed to scavenge out of the wastelands an actual alcoholic recipe for Nuka Quantum. Oh, did he? My alcoholic recipe tends to be add alcohol to Nuka Cola Quantum. That's, that's true. There we are. That should do just fine. This will provide us with plenty of flavor. The syrup was made out of Powerade, squeezed freshly from Power Armor. Um, Powerade, Stevia, and what? And, and Hubflower for the coloring, food coloring. Got it. A little so stick at the bottom there, but that's okay. And what flavor Powerade did you squeeze out of the Power Armor? Uh, it was a strange flavor I found. It was not very fruity. It's an antifreeze. Oh. Antifreeze. Yeah, I never yeah. heard of it before, but maybe it'll help out with the cold nights. Hmm. Uh, this one is pretty much just add a little bit of spirit to tons of alcohol. 
That makes sense. Sprite. Sprite? Sprite to a ton of alcohol. Yeah, okay. Sprite. Oh. I... <laughs> The leet confused me. It's been many years since I've had to read leet. <laughs> no, they they put a three in. <laughs> I was like, huh? Now we're going to come to our, <clears throat> our secret ingredient, the cesium. Okay. Okay. Now you want to be careful with this stuff. It can be a bit uh, a bit on the uh, excitable side, so to speak. See, it has an issue where it likes to uh, jump. So when it contacts into water. Wow. Not something you want to usually deal with, but you know, in these situations, it's best to work. It's, it's best to work with it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Mix that in. We can already see the glow starting to form. This works <laughs> a lot better when we have the light on. So let me turn off the torches. <laughs> there we are. That's so cool. The fresh Nuka-Cola Quantum. Like that, we can have ourselves a refreshing drink. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Absolutely delicious. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm so impressed. See, this is this is why I call this segment Wolfie the Food Wizard. <laughs> that sees me a little. That sees me a little bitter. Syrup. Uh, huh? That was that was cool. That was that was cool. Again. <laughs> <laughs> We're afraid I only had enough to make the one recipe. I had to test it a couple times to make sure it worked well. Oh, that was cool. That was that was really cool. I love it. Um. Uh, do you want to know how it actually works? Yes. <laughs> Break so, character. Tell um, me, what, how did you do this? So, tonic water contains quinine, just yeah. like gin does. Yeah. And quinine glows in the black light. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a little sleight of hand, I was able to make a black light appear. <laughs> yeah. What no. this really is is um, a syrup made out of Powerade and uh, and soda water <laughs> or tom tonic water. God. I didn't even and know that about very, tonic water. Very bitter. Tonic water is incredibly bitter. Do you know separately, but before the fallout, um, for years I thought I hated gin and tonic, and it turns out I don't like tonic. Gin is fine. Tonic's disgusting. I thought it was the gin. So I think there it's you go. Both. I taste the gin, and I think gin tastes horrible really good quality like if you it's like anything right like vodka blah 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 if you splurge and you get really good quality gin and then add like lemonade it's it's actually really good it's just herbal alcohol mm, but yeah it's the tonic that got me for ages i was like why do all these disgusting british people like g and t disgusting gin it's a tonic disgusting british people disgusting i always wonder british what happened to the people. brits when the fallout came it's a very good question. It's true. I wonder what reference there's been. Let me look out if there's been any reference. There's definitely a mod in work in the works called Fallout London. Oh yeah, the uh, the conversion mod. I've seen this. Oh, this looks really cool. <laughs> Just had to throw on my atomic charger. My phone's running on the wrong battery. Oh my goodness. If only Super there were any time. Brits to chime in. Yes, yes. Imagine there being British people here. Somehow there's Australian people here. Um. Yeah, uh, Australia kind of just looks the same, to be honest. There wasn't much worth hitting, was there? Not really. Are there still yeah. kangaroos? Fucking kangaroos. Mutated kangaroos. Um, Fallout London <laughs> is, oh, April 23. That's cool. April? Yeah. April is due to be released. Uh, let's see. What? I have- This um, year? Yeah. 
I have looked up on my oh, Pip Boy on the United Kingdom, and uh, this is what it tells me. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's all the references every time we go to the museums, so we know of the existence. Uh, Absolutely. The Museum of Freedom definitely points out how well we kicked their asses. Yes, yes, lots of freedom. Lots, lots of freedom was made. Um, oh, of made course, in America. Uh, some of the Mr. Handys have quite a British accent, so obviously we're... But this is all pre-world. I'm trying to find any uh, mention post-world of anything going on. Uh, there doesn't seem to be. I don't think we know anything outside of the Commonwealth. Nobody's been able to get across the oceans. There's been a lot of uh, very strange mutations going on out there. Mm, yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not seeing. Oh. Um. Afterthoughts. Do you remember Alistair Tenpenny? If I think about it, I believe he was the man working with that Burke fellow. Just look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um. The wealthy proprietor in um. The Tenpenny main... Tower. He... Yeah, 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 yeah. So apparently there was mention that he traveled to the capital wasteland from Great Britain in order to seek his fortune. He seems like quite the rich man when I see him. Yeah, and is also described as an Englishman in um, the official game guide. In He certainly doesn't sound game. like it. In yeah. fact, I'd say he has generic voice number five. Oh, and a real-world image of London appears in the original Fallout intro. So yeah, there's like kind of mention. Kind Very of. bits of these by the yeah. side of it. Uh, but most of it's pre. Hmm. Interesting. Yes! <laughs> It still surprises me a lot of people don't realize what the thumb up is for with the pit boy. Luckily, not a lot of people grew up in the era I did where we had to hide under our desks from nuclear explosions. That's, that's, yeah, that's true. And measure how far away they are with your thumb. Very clever, though. That's... Very clever. Yep, if, you, if the mushroom cloud is smaller than your thumb, then you are far enough away to not be immediately deadly irradiated. <laughs> Yeah. If it's yeah. larger and you still have your thumb, consider yourself lucky. Uh, yeah, actually, that's true. Just even having your thumb seems to be a rarity in the wastelands. Mel says, original Fallout intro. Was that that weird hallucination everyone has when they're born, when someone kept talking about war never changing? You know what? I think I, think I had that hallucination too. That's really weird. It's been a myth around the wasteland. Everybody seems to talk about it. Nobody understands why. Well, we believe it's the Institute projecting things into our minds via the bird satellites. Damn it, Jeff Bezos. Damn you, Jeff Bezos. Just takes advertising too far. Well, if you could beam your dreams into somebody else's head, would you? No. No. <laughs> Where would you? Only the horrible night terrors. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. How's the stew going? She was looking fantastic so far. Just checking on it myself. There went my charger. Uh, yes. looking very stewy. Stewy. It does. It does look very stewy. 
I'd say another 30 minutes and it should be good to go, given how little of an amount that we're making. Where's your dog meat? I'm afraid I don't have dog meat with me today, but I did find another little critter. Aww. Actually, let me, now that I've taken the time to settle that up. <laughs> oh, catch up, please. There we go. Oh, goodness. Dashi, come. Ow! There he is. Sit. Good You're boy. such a cute little dog meat. The adorable poor, little dog meat. It doesn't poor. carry as much as dog meat, unfortunately. No. <clears throat> but I load him up as much as I can. So cute. So cute. You're so lucky we didn't dress you up. You're so lucky we didn't dress yeah, you up. You are very lucky. <laughs> he came this close to being dressed up, Tashi. This close. He did. So He'd been okay with it. He doesn't seem to mind it too much. Not that I dress him up at all. My mom sent something like Christmas time she wanted, or Halloween. That's a boy. So small. Hello, boy. This is a small He's dog. That's why I had to take him in. I knew he wouldn't survive in the wasteland. There's mole rats bigger than him. It's true. True. It's like a little mole rat. Look at how small he is. <clears throat> You're a tiny thing. Oh my goodness, this camera just doesn't want to focus on anything. <clears throat> oh, thank <cute. laughs> Wait. Was that, was that your Christmas tree still up? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll it this way. Uh, <laughs> I did say this place was quite decrepit. Nice, nice to see Even they still, uh... You know, it was October when the bombs fell. I'm sure some people like to set things up a little early. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, it's nice to see that some people still celebrate Christmas in the wasteland, I think. Maybe. Maybe we should get rid of it. I don't make some good burning later. I cannot, for the life of me, get the previous position. There we are. Hmm. All right, I guess that's just how it's going to be. I have like three cameras open right now. Oh, really? All right. Well, if we're just yeah. chilling, maybe we'll do a just a really quick ad break. It will just kind of top us up. We're just going to do 90 seconds. So if anyone wants to do a quick raid, it's like a really quick raid. It is like popping down to to the super duper mountain back. Don't run into any mutants. I, hope I heard the thing is iron works, so it has some good stuff in it. I'm trying desperately to plug quote unquote my phone in. There we are. And keep it on angle. Oh well done. No no, it's worked, it's worked. You're, it's just that I have to lay it against the pad. Your Blamco is gonna get cold. It's doing well so far. I've been munching out a little bit. Congealing <laughs> slowly. Yes, congealing. Slowly becoming a, bl a brick of cheese yet again, just like normal Blanco. Okay. At least it doesn't taste powdery. Powdery in a very radiation kind of way. It's that kind of grit you get from radioactive soil. Huh. Yeah, that. That's, that's exactly what Blanco tastes like. Sometimes I try to add a bit of spam. Or sugar bumps. Mm, yes, the canned mystery meat. I stopped a fellow, actually, in, uh, in the Macarena Packing House. He was trying to sell ghoul meat. Ghoul meat? Yes, he was packing it. Well, it would never go off. I think it's already been off. Uh, no offense, Mel. Yes, we are ghoul-friendly here. We are LGBTQIG. Plus. Goodness, maybe we'll have to play some Fallout afterwards. 
Uh, we might do because <clears throat> basically once the stew's ready, we've already made all the recipes. <laughs> I knew you would. You're like, I think I can stretch this more than an hour and a half. And look, you, you've done well. You will have done two hours. I'm impressed. I'm, yeah, I thought <laughs> I'd, I'd try to. I'd make it about two hours. It's just. No, it wasn't efficient for me to make this in the interim of the stew cooking, but it was time-wise efficient. <laughs> and the new Coca-Cola was just a party trick. That was cool, though. That was very cool. I really enjoyed that. I, I really worked out how I was going to do the presentation. I was very proud it worked out. <laughs> well, maybe I can do my dumb run. I don't actually even know if my Fallout 3 still works. I'll have to check. It's installed. So, just like I told Koi, if you just run it in compat compatibility mode um, on your vault terminal, it'll work just fine. Uh, oh, yeah. as, long as, the game of the, as long as it's the game of the year edition of your cartridge. It is game of the year. It is the game of the year. Then you should be fine. Let's switch back to um, Ragstack. The red sag is looking very good so far. Chisel has come in from the wasteland. Hello, welcome. It's nice to see that uh, you haven't been raided and that you are alive. Is that outfit an original? Well, it's the original from the vault that uh, Chef Wolfie came from. I certainly found it in that vault. <laughs> Was it was it an officially designated vault suit, or did you um, find someone who made it? Someone was definitely designated for the suit. Okay. And then I designated it off of their body. Hey, you chose Chisel chose to be in the wasteland. Authentic. <laughs> Welcome. We uh we've made a couple of things today. We we currently have the ragstag stew that's just finishing. It's been bubbling away for a while we managed to get from one of the settlements some fresh vegetables and chef wolfie went out this morning and shot a ragstack uh we earlier decided that blamco mac and cheese was probably a little bit too old by 210 years past its use by date so we made it fresh using some brahmin cream and cheese and it's looking very good that's that's all being finished if you want to catch the vod later and then Chef Wolfie is very clever and actually made some Nuka Cola Quantum. Is it still? Would it still work if you turn the lights out? Oh, it's still uh, doing its thing. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Turn the lights off. This is my favorite bit. Yes. <laughs> this is my favorite bit. And we made this Nuka Cola isn't Quantum. This is not the strontium is supposed to, but I found what I was able to find, unfortunately. And welcome back, Purple. Chisel was saving the mac and cheese. Expired one for a special day for too long. Yeah, yeah, I did the same. And then I just felt it tasted a little bit too um um radiation-y. But you know, you live you live where you land. Adjust where applicable. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Adjust where... I hear Take... those words in my dreams. Uh, so yeah, we're just we're just waiting on this chew to finish, and then we will try and decide whether maybe after this we uh, start. I'd be wanting to do a dumb run, as I call it, in Fallout Three. I hear legends about it. Tasted a little expired, that's all. But fresh it is. You know what? The definition of fresh is a little bit different in the Commonwealth. In in my opinion, it's just freshly borrowed. I like to say borrowed, because you know if they weren't. If they weren't dead, I would return it, maybe, perhaps. Theme of the stream. <laughs> fresh from the packet, exactly. Fresh from the packet or the can. More salt? Just a little bit. Yeah, that's going to take the rest of the 40 minutes. Minutes. At least for me. <laughs> you can do for forty minutes. Let me let me look up some more uh 
Fallout facts. Let's, let's talk about other recipes from Fallout, huh? They say what they yeah, learn. Let's... This will taste better than the critics. That's just... <laughs> You know, that's true, right? If you don't like what the critics say, just eat them. Absolutely. See if they taste as good as you do. Uh, let's see. Some of the other recipes I'm aware that we could have done. Oh. I know at least 13 other Nuka Cola recipes. Like Nuka Wild and Nuka Cherry. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yum yum deviled eggs. Let's see oh, what... yes, yes. Let's see what, uh, let's see what ingredients I actually have in it. As a critic, what else? What do you do? Ah, uh, critic, lol. What else? <laughs> Critique. Uh, okay, let's see. I don't think it's going to include what's actually in the deviled eggs. It's just going to be eggs, right? <laughs> they, the thing is, is, there aren't chickens around anymore, so the ones you find tend to be the ones that are still in their package. So true. Have I ever seen a chicken in the wasteland? Let me look this up. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Critique is done corrected. Actually, you know what? I thought I was standing correct. And then you re it and I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, some chickens survived the Great War sheltering in bunkers. Ah, yes. I've heard of such an agricultural bunker. One, uh, <laughs> no, one that worked out better than the, uh, the Green Man one. Yeah, apparently rat chicken variants have been exposed to high levels of radiation, leaving them atrophied and naked. They are slightly smaller than their pre-war ancestors, and likewise pose no threat. Wow, something that doesn't pose a threat in the wasteland? No way. Oh yeah, there we go. So, uh, wow, we have some chickens. Cheers. <laughs> Don't critique me on that. I won't, I promise, I promise. I'll have the mac and cheese right away, sir. We'll uh, we'll have that uh, sent over by Brahmin Trader as soon as possible. They take a while. That'll be twenty caps. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and pull our stew ahead of time. Silver. The only difference is we haven't gotten the broth to thicken up as much as I would like. But it's more like having a hearty soup at this point. Silver Wolf has crawled out of the wasteland successfully. Welcome. It's nice to see that you weren't raided and you're still alive. Silver also forgot that this was happening, but he's here now. Well, it's nice to have you, Silver, if you'd like to sit down and have some delicious red sex, too. <laughs> Freshly served. As fresh as things can be in the wasteland, as Chisel pointed out. Chisel also saying, indeed. Why does he look like he's here to save the day? Can't quite put my finger on it. It's true. Chef Wolfie does enjoy saving the day. Especially if you pay me. You should have seen his intro. And unfortunately, I hadn't changed over the screen in time. <laughs> Despite us oh, talking really? about it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine me Why forgetting the... Me I know. Imagine me forgetting the one important thing. So, just to remind you all for this red stag dish, I took some gourds, some carrots, some onions, and some potatoes, and I sautéed them in my pan until they softened. I added the meat afterwards, separately, got it to a nice brown, and then added the vegetables back, hit it with our radstag stock, which uh, had a bit of a glow to it, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem later, mm. and slowly cooked it for the past hour and 15 minutes. And we have this delicious concoction. It's actually really tasty, and I'm, gonna, I'm very looking very forward to eating it. It does sound tasty, doesn't it, Silva? It's been it's been nice to watch. Having that, having with that, our blamco mac and cheese, and of course our deliciously irradiated Nuka Cola Quantum, which 
doesn't glow very well during the daytime. I still love it at night. Like yeah, do a radioactive it. Yes! Still makes me uh, happy. It's, it's quite the amount of light, too. It's actually a huge amount. Like, very bright. Good for a power adage. <laughs> That's yeah, super radioactive cool. Radioactive light will do that for you. Is isn't it? The the glow is only a little concerning. I've been reassured that it is um able to be consumed. I never assured you. Well, yes, I assured you of that. It is certainly consumable. And and, and chisel. I think Bruce Wayne, the uh, the pre war anti hero, was paid in caps. Surely. It does sound tasty, but you can only hear not taste. It's it's all right. I'm sure we will uh, send around a trader soon enough, and, and pass out some of our cooking to the Commonwealth. Absolutely. Consumable and safe to consume are very different things, Minx. Look, I I trust my chef, and uh, if he says that that quantum nuka cola is safe to consume. It's probably as safe as most things that I consume in the Commonwealth. He did say that two rad packs should be consumed at the same time as consuming this meal. Just, just so you know. Sometimes it's just as good to mix it in. Also, uh, from uh, some notes that I was just reading, cesium has a half life of about ninety days, so it's pretty active. Can you tell me later if after you pass the drink? <laughs> We're very close. I'll be sure to check it. <laughs> if it lasts for ninety days, what would what would literally happen is I would go yo and shut the light off. Like every time, you're just gonna have to check now. <laughs> the light um, will go away eventually. Here's a reminder. Oh yeah, that technically. Technically, everything's going to be glowing for 90 days, right? No. How long does it take to clear out the system? Completely three days? Oh, uh... See, let's see. Depending on how much you drink, um... Four, six, death... About a week. About a week. Oh, well, I, I, um... I'm excited to hear if your pee glows for a week. There's going to be a part where you feel really good. Don't trust that part. Uh, Chills has reminded us the rule of thumb. If it glows, refrain from drinking it, which I always ignore in the wasteland. I go, mm -hmm. if it's free and not being protected right now and I'm thirsty, then it's good to go. If it's suddenly mine, then it's mine forever. Thank you for the luck, JD. I'm glad to see you're still alive in the wasteland. I suspect he's so. uh, about to go for a hunt, though. I hope your raid goes well. I'm certainly going to hunt down these meals. Yeah, shall we? Um, well done. You you managed to stretch cooking into two hours. <laughs> shall we? Uh, shall we switch and uh, play some Fallout? I think that's a grand idea. We'll okay. hop on one of the terminals. That sounds like fun. Okay, guys. Uh, let me transition away briefly. Um, and you are free to move. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm going to just group this together. There we go. Let's move us over here. Um... Chisel, I see why. I knew, part, I knew my favorite part was going to be taking the gauntlets off. <laughs> Were they uh, quite tight? Serious, it's wet under them. They are. It, it's literally. It looks. It's condensated. It's so gross. Hi. I see why, except for that vampire from Twilight, worked out for him. Sparkles or glow. Apparently, this is what their diet consisted of. It makes all sense now, right? Oh, yeah. Well, vampires naturally consume radioactive material. That's why they like uh -huh. to have your plasma. 
All right, let's see if my um, see so yeah, if my philanthropy still works. You're beautiful. <laughs> oh no, it's not installed. I only have four in shelter. How big is it? Eight gigabytes. Oof. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I have. I did some testing with it. I don't know if I left it installed. Yeah, I've Fallout, only got... New Vegas, and Fallout 4. No, I don't have three installed. We could do a bit of New Vegas, I guess. It's a game. Vault Tech <laughs> Red Wolf has pounced into the foxhole. I'm really glad that you have survived the wasteland. Welcome, welcome. You, uh, you, you missed the, um... The cooking, unfortunately, but the VOD will be released. We made some Rad Stag Stew, and we made some actually glowing Yuka Cola Quantum, and we made some fresh Blamco mac and cheese, because we really didn't want any more of that packet mix, so it was just time to get to us. Chisel, if I survive this far, then anyone can survive here. Exactly right. I really appreciate the follow, though. Thank you. It's nice for the support. Helps us... Um, Keep going, and and we'd like to do some more game cooking, which uh, will be a bit fun. Absolutely. This keeps us on Radio New Vegas. That way we don't have to listen to Big Iron for the 30th time. <laughs> it's true, it's true. If I said that... Oh, okay. All right, so are you going to... I mean, I can play Fallout Shelter and I can play Fallout 4, but if you've got New Vegas installed, New Vegas could be fun. I'm doing three. Uh, it's halfway done. Oh, my goodness. You American internet hey, versus internet. Australian. I just, I can't, I can't. I even put a lot of caps into this internet. I can't even comprehend how fast. Crazy. Blazing crazy. fast. Like, Blazing. there's old Nintendo. There's old Nintendo commercials where, like, the kid was having whiplash from playing Mario Kart. Did you take photos of what you cooked? I'm Australian. I'm Australian. Yes. <laughs> I'm in She's Australia. She's Australian. I'm very much not. You heard all about me? I heard all about me, too. I keep hearing about her. She won't stop talking. I promise you, it's a real country. Um, but, yes, I... I had to t I had to turn the uh, phone off to go and take pictures. I will go do that now. Yeah, do. Because if you send it to me, I'll put it up in the corner while we're playing. I got you. It's like proof that we actually did some cooking. <laughs> koalas are evil, I hear. They do have a bit of uh, chlamydia. But koalas um, mutated a little bit strangely during the fallout. I, I will admit that. Good morning, Wheat. How are you? I'm excited about your upcoming cooking stream, which is in about, what, uh, two hours? I'm also glad to see that you've crawled out the wasteland and you're still alive and haven't been raided yet. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Chef Wilfie is just off taking a photo of what we created. Um, it's like, I feel and like I'll we have to put... Sand. Yes, yeah, and it's me. I feel like I feel like we have to put proof up that we uh we did this. Oh, look at it! It looks so good. All right, okay. Uh, we did do so... it. I did a whole thing. That is awesome, shoe Mel. That was an awesome shoe you posted. And save. That's such a cool shoe. And save. Um, I'm good. And yes, that train wreck starts in like two hours. It's not going to be a train wreck. It's going to be amazing. It's train wreck? Amazing. What are we train wrecking? Um, I suspect Wheat will be getting back into his mate outfit blindfold to do some Australian recipes, I heard, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll have to pop in after this one. Is he going to do Vegemite you on You better toast run. You better take cover. <laughs> you better run. You better get over. <laughs> Was that your Australian accent? That was, I don't, is that guy singing in an Australian accent? I honestly didn't, I couldn't Did tell. take cover? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, because at the end he goes, you better run, you better get cover. Yeah, yeah. 
Vegemite, Vegemite, king of condiments, exactly. Well, it's Aussie cooking because all the Australians gave me the suggestions. Aren't you actually making damper bread, though? See, I'm I'm technically a fake Australian, so it's a bit... It's a bit She's weird. a New Zealander. It's basically the same thing. Not even. I'm a fake Kiwi as well. Isn't it terrible? I um, I was born in Great Britain, but don't don't judge me too hard for it. I promise I'm not that Is bad. Is it really that great? Uh, I can't I can't reveal such secrets. At right, hand, let me uh. <laughs> Just quickly making a, uh, still love the glow. That's so cool. So there's one. And then tell me, tell me in the stream, by the way, because I'm just really quickly making something up. Uh, England, you, you're safe. You're safe now. Thank goodness. I wouldn't go back. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Um, I have a visual up for you on the terminal. Excellent. Let me, uh, why is, why is the overseer insisting that I play more ads soon? God damn it. God damn it, Jeff Bezos. Institute, you know how the overseer is. The Institute <clears throat> constantly trying to make me play ads. <laughs> I don't want to play ads. So mean. So rude. Okay, sixty nine. Okay. Okay. There we go. This looks good. All right. Let me. Let me just um. Level of England. David Beckham. What's that? This is Rad Stag Stu. Second. I don't have it up yet. I um It's okay. I was making sure this was the right character. Eighteen. Okay, good. Red stag stew. And then this was Glam Mac and Cheese. Let me center this. How dare we sit and the humidity? You know this song? Yes, yes. I, I know it all too well. They play it in every single Australian pub known to man, and I wish they wouldn't. <laughs> it's, uh, Bit of a pub favourite here. I can tell you that. Coca-Cola Quantum. Okay. Coca-Cola Quantum. I have spelled Quantum right, haven't I? All right, we'll find out. C-U-A-N-T-U-M. Stroke. Glow. Na 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 na. That's something interesting to be on repeat. I know, I know. Okay, here we go. I've done it. Uh, export as Midman Game Food Finals. All right, guys. Uh, my iPod is is that on repeat and bait open the Fifth Symphony in there. You mean your Pip Boy, right? Your Pip Boy. I see this, but I'm wondering what it does. Might need some help. It's I Pip. <laughs> it says follow. <laughs> what does it do? I don't know. You're welcome to push it and find out. Um, it would be certainly nice to see you again, Chisel. Aww. 
Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm really glad nothing exploded. Last time we pushed a button, we lost a town and then created a town. <laughs> That's an accident, sorry. Alright, let me, uh, load image. Final thing. Exciting. I love pushing buttons. <laughs> I'm sure you do. the slide. Now let's put it up here. I'm trying to decide where to put this 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 image. It's probably a bit big, but it'll be alright. It'll be fine, right? Maybe. Oh, are you just putting them on the stream? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I'm proud that we made them. I I'm <laughs> very satisfied with them as well. They're going to keep me fed well tonight so I can wake up well rested. Uh all right, let me let me get your game up, huh? And let me uh, slowly turn down loud music because that's that's enough of that. And then we're going to. Oh my goodness! It just went for it immediately, huh? You are in there. Okay, hang on. Being shot. You are. You are being shot. How's that? Yeah. Got hearty, scrumptious, and deadly drink pictures. Yeah. The heck was this kid doing all the way down here? No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. Hey, uh. Calm down. It'll be okay. I promise. Those things. They're right behind me. Leave me alone. Uh. So. I'll show you my special points in a minute, but hey, kid, it's okay. I'm a big tough guy. All you need is a little patience. You grown-ups are all the same. My papa is missing, and I think the ants may have gotten him. Ants? I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, that's why I'm so confused. He's supposed to be like way up there. Like he, his mission is way further away than the Super Duper Mart. Put us in the middle because uh, there we go. So Alright, so here's my how. special points. Just like I was telling you before, strength and luck. Oh. This is this is what I want to do. This is literally the run that I want to do in three. I so far haven't found any good um speech checks. No, apparently it's that. only in three. That's uh, why I want to do it in three. The food looks three. awesome. Thank you, mate. Thank you, thank I, you very much. Uh, I grabbed a clip of when he revealed the quantum glowing. I, like, lost my shit. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> I I knew you would find a way to be able to do it because it's you. So I just, I just knew. But to actually see it happen was really cool. It was very cool. I think we have a friend. Oh. Oh. Fiery. Oh! Fiery boy. Down the gunshots. Uh, I don't think I have much for weapons. I think I just walked out of the vault. You would have fangailed over it? Yeah, I totally fangailed over it. He, he does give away his secrets afterwards, but I fangailed. I do. And you can find it in the VOD. I'll, I'll publish uh, that VOD to YouTube so we don't lose it. It's too sad to lose it. Now I'm like, what game are we going to do next? This has been way too much fun. I absolutely want to do Skyrim after this. Are oh, you want to do Skyrim? I don't know. Should we do two lots of Bethesda? I, I think it's mostly because I already have Skyrim recipes. Uh, it would be super simple. Skyrim would be like... Sweet Roll. Did someone do maybe do a Sweet, sweet Roll. roll. I, would, I would definitely like to do like Horker Loaf. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe, maybe some Skooma. Oh, or some black briar meat. 
Skimmer would be cool. I'm I'm hang on. I'm looking I'm looking at my games now. And if you guys have any suggestions in the chat as well of things that, that would have really cool. I'm trying to think. Uh what definitely has recipes in it? Oh, Eastwood has heaps of recipes, but that's not a very well known game, I suppose. Oh yeah, I've never heard of Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter would be quite elaborate. Expensive. Oh, maybe. the cats are so cool. The whole platters. You could just do one platter, yeah, they, I suppose. I love the platters they do. They're so cool. Um, you have to do the first... Oh, of course I have to do the flourish. Like, the chef cat that just comes over and places its herbs on top. Can you please be a cowboy? Can I be a cowboy? Cat boy. Cat boy. Necker. No. Oh. Just no. straight, just straight shut down. Didn't even like, didn't even hesitate. Why not? You had nope. to dress up. <laughs> no. Uh, because I no, I could, but I don't want to. Very. Oh, I just realized that I actually had this. Um... I don't know. Ankles clipped. Just sorry. My bad. This is not working. Uh, I fell. Mass Effect must have things. Oh yeah, I'm sure you could find some of the stuff in the bars. Oh, uh, what do we do? Like <laughs> Sons of the Forest. I just want to see you eat a fish face first. <laughs> oh god, I forgot they do that. Yeah, they do. They do, though, don't they? <gasps> Stardew Valley would be interesting. Stardew Valley has a lot of nice recipes. It, yeah. It's pretty normal recipes, though, like spaghetti and... This is the problem. Like, they just have very normal kind of recipes, huh? Mm. This controller is very sensitive. Oh, I can't remember what was in Don't Starve. Uh, let's see. There was um, monster uh, meatloaf. There's because um, they have like beefalo and cooked stuff. Cooked morsel. Uh, I don't remember what happens with beefalo. I have, I don't know why I have like no means of defense on me. <laughs> I have no bullets. I have a stick essentially, and like no, no. I don't know. I don't know. I have nothing. like games of recipes let's let's go find what's the mission Ooh, we're on right dark now? souls Ooh, okay okay hang on i i have made an octopus dish from go back to megaton from <clears throat> elden ring before make that estes soup now i need to find something that glows red I need a game that i can like because I know Fallout so well, so the banter was easier. I I look up I look up game recipes and it's just like cooking games. Yeah, yeah. Cooking mama and all like that Esther soup. See that's the church of the broken god. Make our way around Megaton real quick. That's the processing plant. That man will buy scrap metal for infinite amounts of money. And I think that there's a glitch you could do with him. Food. Food! That's what we do. Yes, find all the recipes. Let's see, noodles. there's noodles. Just noodles. And Just noodles. this man is enjoying... What the fuck is that? Some iguana bits. Oh, iguana bits. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. And this psychopath is praising a bomb. Oh yeah. Well, at well, she lived here. Yeah, with her aunt. Let's see West's house. Where's the bar? Oh, Baldur's Gate. House. That's uh all the rage, right? Does Could Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate have food? Oh yeah, definitely. There's the land. Butter Just hated the layout of the city. And split pea soup. It's kind of a bit normal though. I'm trying to find um. Oh, 
Oh, they did the Yakuza series. Then we could do some Japanese cooking. Is that oh, noodles? Yakuza's got great food in it. Looks like dirt and rice. I just saw the bar. Oh yeah, yeah, because that has heat. supply. Uh, we'll probably get some ammo from here. Yes, Animal Crossing. I found a site, and this person's been doing. Oh no, it's her. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the fall. Oh Moira. Yeah, Moira. I heard you about Moira. Yeah. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply, but what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Stalker does have food, yeah. Great game, too. About the waste Let's see. We ba, could ba, ba, do ba, Final ba. Fantasy and just get and Koi just to come shopping. in. Koi would know it back to front. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. She stole my roach! <laughs> She's a very strange lady. So wait, what happens to? Yeah, this is Crater Side Supply. Huh. Speaking of which, you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen. Ah. Uh, oh, what's up? Um, what? Do you sell any special items? Do I ever? Oh, the rocket launcher. That's that's where you buy it. That's right. Right, please just have ammo. Concerns me. Like no money. But I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could get away with it. Hmm. Oh, that melee thing's the only thing I have. Armor jumpsuit. Oh. Yeah, they have a whole kind of. Yeah, I was thinking that, and I'm like, man, Koi knows that series back to front, so actually, Koi could jump right into that easily. Yeah, absolutely. That would be really cool to watch. Don't need that. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's stuck in my head now. No, I'm having all like the the post proudness of you. That was really cool that you pulled all that off. Huh? I was saying I was proud of you, cunt. What did I do? Well, I guess you just did your job, huh? But <laughs> I was just trading with some annoying lady. What do you mean? <laughs> All the fallout cooking. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I did. I did a good job. I was sad. I missed the intro. We talked about this really cool intro he was going to do for ages, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great." And then I didn't switch off of the starting soon screen, and I was like, I'm so sad right now, but I'm not going to mention it immediately, because then he'll be sad too, fuck. I just made you do it again. Oh yeah, maybe we should have. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I didn't think of it. Now I got some bullets. Oh! There we go, that's something to start with. I'll just loot some uh, bodies and get some more money. Let's see, off to the super duper mark. Remember any food from Metal Gear? Oh no, wait, I did that last time, that's right. I didn't even know our special guest was briefly in here, what the fuck? Wait, were they? They were in there for like, we were, they were in here for like half an hour, what? I thought you meant that they'd come back. What? They were talking? What do you mean? Yeah, they were talking. I was talking to them. I never heard them, ever! Are you serious? That's why no. they kept mumbling about you not hearing them. What the fuck? I said something, I said something and you responded as if you had heard them, or you were, I guess you were just reacting to me. I 
director? Oh my god, you know why. Purge would have been turned down because the last thing I fucking played with him would have been Lethal Company. So see, Purge, it's her fault. I heard you just fine. Let's do a little bit of healing. And then we're going to go in here and borrow some items. They didn't hear that. They heard it. Oh. I have quite a small amount of health. Hopefully I can find something in here that'll boost my health. Oh my god, that means that they wouldn't be hear it, heard on the stream either, because I don't think I had it turned up. Oh, because you would be the person to be displaying their sound, huh? I need to fix that, because, oh my god. Why, why is the sound, hang on, because when I go look in my Discord. Diggity dog. Deafen, undeafen. Voice disconnect. Use a join. It's literally turned on the sound. I don't know why. It's not playing it anymore for me. It just. It just isn't playing the sound anymore. It's so we. Oh, no way. Sounds. I really don't know why the sounds aren't. Oh fucking hell. Oh, and this chat was like, what was going on? The rest of them go. I think I'm prepared to take care of them now. Oh my there god. How did you not realize that I couldn't hear him? I... Kind of did, but like the, I, again, there was a point where you responded, I think, off of me, but it sounded like you were responding to them, so I was like, oh, she must be able to hear them now. No! It could be disabled because of streamer mode. Is that what it. No, no, even when I'm not in streamer mode, for some reason, it's just not, not being given me the join sounds for like. Yeah, I mean. Damn it, Quite a while, it. and I don't know why, because it's turned up. Streamer mode disables the sounds. Oh my god. Pudge, I would never ignore you! Wow. Ever! Because we'll be asked oh, if you're man. listening to yeah, the guests. it wasn't that. Like, we were happy to have you in. It's just that she couldn't hear you. I was the only one that could. I thought he meant, like, are you reading the chat? <laughs> <laughs> I must have literally had him turned down from like lethal weapon or whatever we played last and I just I just didn't even realize Lethal weapon? Lethal company? Yeah, lethal. I always say lethal weapon. I mean lethal company. I can't remember it's what I movie. lost. <laughs> yeah. The armor. Yeah. Is he staying up in chat, sadly? Uh, no. Okay. Just like in the worst possible situation. Oh, my God, oh here I'm we go. Like... Oh, look. I found some black mac and cheese, some new Did fruit, you? some junk food. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and scarf all of that down because I have nothing else to heal myself with. My audio went away. Like, all of it. That would be why. The fact that he- the fact that his chat thought that I was just, like, dissing him too. <laughs> Chat thought what? 
Cat would have thought that I was dissing him as well, like just ignoring him. Yeah. <laughs> We're so sorry, Purge. Oh my god, she just jump shot at me. I need to. I actually. God, I need to get him to jump back into VC so I can hear him probably. Dang it. I am caught between a rock and a hard place immediately. I responded a few times to Wolfie asking. Oh my god. Okay. I'm away from them at least. This lady is deadly accurate. I know where I need to go. I just have to get there without being shot to death by a person with a shotgun. Oh my god, Serpentine, you bastard! No, this is not the right way. Why are these cards everywhere? I think it's over here, though I might be thinking of the Super Duper Mark from Fallout 4. Takes care of that at least. You know what's so weird was at one point I remember you going asking about the guests, and I was like, Yeah, I wonder where they are. And I went and had a look at his stream, and it was like him and Paige watching our stream, oh, and I was like Oh, I guess they just didn't feel like coming in. I guess they just decided to watch for a bit as well. And I even noticed that he'd like tagged the stream name and everything with it and so i was like oh maybe he was preparing to come in and just didn't come in and then just went back to what we were doing and he must have been literally in the stream no i didn't click i just didn't click oh my god damn good morning we means cancelled for snubbing purgemus i know i know i'm <laughs> definitely Is I must be thinking of Fallout 4. I swear there's a Nuka Cola Quantum in this store. Sleep in that bed and heal up. It is streamer mode if I disable but no because even when we're not in stream mode I've been having issues with people joining I'm gonna be obsessing and say next time purge streams I'm gonna be like talking to his chat and I'm gonna be like I didn't stop him I swear <laughs> fuck the fact that I responded to you every time and I just didn't click that what you were saying I must have talked over Sorry. them as well then. Uh, once or twice, but really not often. It was it was strangely in sync. So weird. Wait, I'm with Minx even with our stream mode on my Discord. Is just an idiot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but a couple of months ago, the join and leave sound just stopped working. Yeah, mine mine hasn't worked for a while. The join and leave sounds. The only reason I know that our group appears is they're loud or their um their avatar pops up. <laughs> That's how I know it's because their avatar is suddenly there. Mine oh, randomly works. Was first. Then again, I am supposed to be in a town just asking generalized questions and not fighting people at the moment I walk out of a vault. They give you a much better start in Fallout 4. Here too. You can't hear the sound either? Yeah, I don't know why. It just kind of stopped working. It's so weird. 
Is this working? Like, can you hear the sounds of this stream? Yeah, it's only people joining and leaving. No idea. Odd. Which is the worst, because sometimes people leave VC and I'm still fucking talking to them. Like, you know how Oracle, Oracle just leaves and doesn't announce he's leaving? And I'll just have a whole fucking yeah. conversation. Yeah. No idea that he's not there anymore. I mean, usually I also try to have Discord up so I can see the um, chat, but I just I didn't have it up. I just realized I still have this up as well. <laughs> I got a timer going on somewhere. Oh, mine too. Oh, I just woke up and put the story together myself. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. hope I uh, am providing some entertainment with this. I, I realize I'm a little over in my head uh, in this fight. But apparently somebody in this building has something that uses 556 five, ammunition and I want it. Frag mines. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Frag mines. Frag mine. Lepergimous community hates me. <laughs> okay. The oddest thing is, I just never even clicked that you were talking to someone else ever. Like everything was just <laughs> insane. I think this is how Doom goes being on mute for like an hour at a time and just responds to people and doesn't realize. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We bag him out for it all the time, but yeah. He'll just suddenly, after ages, be like, oh my god, I've been on fucking mute this entire time, and he's been quiet for like an hour, and he's been having full conversations with us, and never realizes. And now, now I get it. Now I get it. Super, super pharmacy key. Is that where this terminal goes? Yes, it is. There we go. That's much better. I wonder if I could eat this Abraxo cleaner. These stuff, metal boxes. Definitely stuff that I could use. Wow, plus one HP. Hell yeah. Sweet. All right, don't have to listen to that now. Hey, it's a mini nuke back here in a grocery store. Let's cover up one of the stats, but it'll be alright. Oh, hey! You found some? I yes. Found some. I found some. Yeah, I got three of them here, and some good old Nuka Colas. Oh yeah, now we're set for healing items. The funniest thing Go ahead is, and chug this bad boy. Oh, it's abs. If he just huh. played the stream, he would have realized that he was a non-speaker. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I feel really bad about that. I'm, I'm so I sorry. Feel awful no no you shouldn't uh, you didn't know you're wrong I they, no because it, it makes so much more sense why they felt it, it sounded like they felt awkward when they were talking oh and i was like i can hear you guys i'm talking to you it's the worst oh my god oh my god I know, you're gonna have to do like two streams to make up for that one. 
Okay, now I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna put us on either side. I keep like trying to fucking figure out where to put us. Maybe I was better off before. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We're moving it back. We're moving it back. I'm fiddling. Hang on. I'm fiddling. Um, I think I'm more surprised that no one figured it out. <laughs> figured. It out. Like, between all of his chat as well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Maybe we should do Final Fantasy next because he's been playing Final Fantasy. Purge of Final Fantasy? Such a terrible friend. I know. Uh, Purge has been playing Final Fantasy. Look, let me, give him, cool. let me give him a shout out. <laughs> you have a fucking... Is that a Chinese pistol? It is. Give me that. Be all of your stuff. Wire is gonna love it. No, I'm not glad. I forgot about that sound. Old school. There you are. Yes, yes, you make a fine corpse. I heard you were going to be back in the, uh, back in the old maid outfit. Making some of the good stuff today. Yeah. I'm excited. It's not too long. Aaron, Aaron Akoda? Say again. I think he's on in like an hour and twenty minutes. See. God, you're gonna be way asleep by then, aren't you? Likely. I have a pretty severe headache going on right now. Oh, you poor thing. If I can fix this. Let's see if I can download four out free without my internet messing up. Tell me if the stream sounds awful, I guess, or I sound awful. You've been downloading that the whole time. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, oh, no. Look, gotcha. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Burke. I know. Just how far the feelings go. His arm movements are so great. Got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. And you are going to see that it does. I don't know if I'm smart enough to do that. Uh, I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb 
your rig to the barn, then you'll get paid handsomely. You don't want to sit ten penny. Yeah. Hey. Only Brit we know of in the game. An extra five hundred caps. Yeah, my my six percent speed skill. All right. Excellent. I have a feeling about you. Mm. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. Don't let. I told you, Job. It ain't the radio. The Enclave Station comes in fine. Not that kind of Galaxy bar, News. Stranger. The signal's been shipped. Oh, the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, what does that mean? It's not that kind of bar. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. You've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Oh, well, we've got, apparently also got a Scott in the game. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Or whatever this accent's supposed to be. My god, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? What's that accent supposed to be? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that home? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault. I mean, if it's supposed born. to be Celtic. Keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You yeah. You stayed alone after all. They they Let definitely yeah. suggest that some have friend. crossed the ocean somehow, I don't they? Babe with nary a I, I like to think that sorry about their mom. Uh, rather than somebody crossing the ocean to the wasteland, this is just a descendant of an Irish family. A little disappointment. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, Gabe. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own Deputy Weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? <laughs> Almost sounds like... Teogorath. Oh, wow. Without the scratchy voice. There's a throwback. Yeah, yeah. You catch on quick, kid. That's the way of it out here, for sure. You want something, you take it. Or you pay. And it seems a fair price. Um, <laughs> what do you got for sale? Back east. Advisory. Wait, what? Tell it to Gob. He'll get you whatever you need. Oh. Work. Come on. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Ah, what are you? Haven't you ever seen a fool before? Uh, I've got. I know what a ghoul is. Stay away yeah, from me, zombie. Great. What do you need? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Fair enough. Yeah. Enjoy. Dick. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese pistols. Not as good as our American made pistols. Combat shot well, it must be garbage. Uh, all the 218. Wow, okay. All right. See you soon, drunk. See you soon, drunk, and then don't hit me. All right, let's set up a bomb. I'm too stupid to use this bomb. Hmm. 
some kind of off uh, advice he could have offered me because there was like a, a, ch a choice of like, hey, so what if I can't destroy you the bomb? You haven't rigged the bomb yet. Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a bit of a reputation. Leo Stahl. Oh, Mentats. I don't think that's going to help me. I'm exceptionally stupid. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen more, like, options for being I, I haven't either. I've been trying to, like, that's why I've been going to, like, people that you should be talking to, because... The hell? I don't know where that one guy is. I was hoping he was in the saloon. His name was Leo Stall, right? That's Colin. That's a Megaton settler. What's the big idea? Yep, I don't know where Leo Stall is. I hope he's down here. That's a leg. I'm posting in Purge's server. <laughs> Are you vehemently apologizing? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Morning. Let him know I cared, at least. Yeah. Oh, no, he knows. I know you didn't. Joke is... Oh, hey! He's meant to be Irish? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. There he is. Blessing is now. I bet you Koi sees it fucking in his server, and now he's gonna bag me out. God damn it. Why was there a mercenary in your house? Alright, let's not attack Moira. Alright, unfortunately I don't think the, nu the nuke's gonna be exploding because I'm too stupid. My explosive skill? Probably too low. I have level three. Yeah. 
It's supposed to be 25, it's 21. So I suppose if I could get a hold of Cementes. Problem is, I don't know where that doll guy is in the city. I'm gonna have to look for him. You want something? Ramen. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder. It's a mentax. That's all I would need. I need to I need to check on the whole dumb run thing again. It's really disappointing. Cause because I swear I remember something about that too. Like I swear I tried to do a dumb run ages ago and it was coming up with some speech option somewhere. Hmm. I mean I'm sure there's some. I just don't know where. It might be a very particular combination. Cause what's your stats? You're like no intelligence, no charisma, right? Yeah, one intelligence, one charisma. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, it should be doing it. It's so annoying. Let me look at that. Click on the game. Um, an upgrade. No intelligence. Oh. Oh. That's Walter. Damn it! I don't know where this guy is. Speech. Oh, is it only low intelligence? Uh. Uh, yeah, I guess the clinic would be the best bet. I just don't know my way around this damn town. Let's see the local map here. I thought there was stupid right, dialogue. There it yeah, is. Yeah, this is right. what I need to check. Yes, that's it there. Uh... Okay, maybe it was just pull out one and two. It might have been. Yeah. Oh. No, if you want all over the game, you can get pull out three. Uh. Yeah, I, I... This challenge is because we use low intelligence in Vegas, no, super times. Talk low intelligence character. Okay, here we go. One of the dumb one. Um, um I, I swear I just saw the clinic on here, but now I can't find it again. Unless it's because I'm at a higher elevation. Tells me then that the clinic would have been on the fire. We need know. a new Vegas thing. Oh, it's not very it's not very significant. Bounced over it like three times. Man, I'm like really tired. There it is, Mega Ten Clinic. It's very crazy hours for him. Okay. Right there. Uh, I made it. You. Sell me things. I'm Don't care. 
Yep. Fallout 2 is hilarious. Apparently low intelligence. Well, that wasn't it. Hey, it's Fallout 2. Seagull. Yeah, well, I mean, lots of stim packs that he must not need. Okay, it's full out too. Low intelligence was hilarious. Okay, all right. I don't think I ever really played full out too properly, so that's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't think I have either. Yeah, I played like full out one, three, four, and New Vegas and Shelter. I don't know why I kind of didn't really do two. I think I watched it, but I didn't really play it. Not quite. I think it's because I planned to do it after I finished one, but I got so mad about not knowing about the whole countdown time thing and fucking it up and not having a save, and then I just didn't finish one. I watched the ending of it that I just never got round to, <laughs> round to two. It just made me so mad. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't Jenny Saw, was it? I was just very into the idea of doing a Final Fantasy one. Apparently he'll suck okay. you off if you do some 15 recipes. 15? No, 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 no. Like, from Final Fantasy 15. Oh. Not 15 recipes. He's, he's like, god well, damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. Damn it. Who told... Help. What's the help? You want to backseat your suffering? Yeah, I can. He might, I don't know. I think he's just... He's probably forgotten. I feel like Ulfie and I have played 3, 4 in New Vegas so many times. Every time I go back, I've still forgotten shit. All the time. What did I tell you? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> my sake. most favorite person in the world. Oh my god. Hi, please, Purge. Please, please pop in the PC so I can fix your volume. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I enjoyed having you around, even Aww. if she was ignoring you. How is this, Jay? How is this, Jay? Look, if you're going to tell on me, do it. Now, Wolfie's ignoring me. How is this, Jay? Oh, grumptious. I mean, it's not like very, very well. It's not like he's gonna be like, "Shit, I did terribly." <laughs> Fucked it up completely. No, it was fine. I um, I should have roasted the. I mean, I wasn't really. I was going for the Fallout vibe. I wasn't going for like actual chefing stuff. But I should have roasted the um, butternut squash so that it wasn't so. It, it basically dissolved after the deer was ready. Mm -hmm. We were being very accurate. You have no idea the very um, in detail debates we had on what would be able to be done in an apocalyptic world. God damn it. Damn it. Bro, I'm just trying to buy drugs from you. Would you. I live in this game where you just like fucking wait wherever for 12 hours. Just stand there. Yeah. In the way. What's up, Silver? You need to let him go to the water treatment plant. Oh. Fucking hell. I'm impatient. I just want to blow this place up. So the water treatment plant's up here somewhere. I don't, I don't know hey, when Purge hey. was here. Were you here with the quantum bit? Hey. There we go. I appreciate this over, I do. Hey, 
no, no. Good to see you. Just as Why is it good now? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just look at the door. Um, let's see him chop veggies and start the venison. God, you were right there at the beginning. Yeah, he was there for like a half hour or so. Oh my god. I don't know how I didn't realize that you weren't responding to me. Like, I just didn't even click. I was saying, Purge, while you were um, chopping Paige um, home, I was like, now I get how Doom can be muted for an hour. And not realize, like, all the time he comes back and he's like, fuck, I'll be muted for an hour. And I'm always like, how do you not notice that we're not responding? And he's always like, I don't know, it just always sounds like you guys are just joining in on the conversation somehow. Like, I just, and now I get it. Like, I don't know how I was having only, like, one third of the conversation, but I never clicked that Wolfie was ever responding to anyone else. Right, how would I possibly be talking to someone else? You just never sounded like you were responding to anyone else, ever. Like, I, you never said anything, like, out of place. I think he's going down to the dam. What time does he go to the other, the water treatment facility? God damn. Be like... I guess he sleeps there. You can just steal them. From where? I'll gladly steal them. Did I just pickpocket him? No. I'm not gonna watch Purge's bud. I'll die too much. Yeah, so like, if it isn't obvious, Silver, I, this is definitely not the game that I have the most practice in. Water treatment plant in a desk. Got it. Just gonna go rob an old man. I mean, I finished three, but I, I think I just, just it was so taking. long ago. Manya. Pretty girl's house. I definitely know four the best. It's just because it's the most recent. Definitely know four the best. Yeah. And I also just watched Koi play some of it, so it's a bit more fresh in my so mind. How many times has I played through New Vegas? I have way more hours than four. The page is raging so hard. All right, I'll just skip to I'll just skip to that bit. As soon as it like comes up as me, I'm just gonna be like, nope, <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to any of that. I will just die inside. Just the Very entire hard. hammer. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I'll be so sad. I was just thinking this morning, Purge, I was watching your 2024 vlog goals. What it was really good. No? And I'm just thinking of your schedule. And I'm like, right. uh, I wonder if we could fit it in or something. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, you enjoy the ride too, buddy. Didn't realize it was a very hard oof. It's all good. I have it now. I have I have the thing I need. Men's hats. Apparently I already had two. Alrighty then. And be divided. And be divided. Do you know in my game, I don't think I destroyed it. I think I disarmed him. Oh, I've played it a couple of times at least. I've I've spared them once and sometimes not. So hard to make no script, just me going off on a tangent. 
That's how I used to make my YouTube vids, to be honest. Exactly like that. Um, uh, unless I was doing specific edits, like once once a month, I'd release a video just like that, like just pointed at myself and just fucking talking about shit. Yeah, um, I would definitely be more talkative, but it is four in the morning, and I have been awake since five in the morning. Do you have work today? Nope. Oh, thank goodness. Just all I have right now is a gentle walk to Ten Penny Tower. To play cool games. I found every time I redid it, I was like, okay, this time I'll be more concise because I know what I'm talking about compared to the first one. So like by the third take, I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. And I'd still find something else to waffle about every time. It would always end up being about half an hour. Just Usually trying to fill in time or? No, I'd just, just waffle, I guess. Just have a conversation. Used to do oddly well. That's the edits. I think the edits new people would find me, and then the waffling would just be. Hey there. It's like she's smoking yeah. a fake cigarette. Like well, I'm she trying is a to doctor. Be cool as a kid. Oh yeah, that's true. She's still trying to be cool. Watch, come on, PC. <laughs> I'm gonna fix your volume. It's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, come on, PC, Birch. Ad break. It's gonna be like, no, I'm in bed. Or something like that. Fuck you! Editing vids. Damn it. Just, just remind me. Actually, can I? Oh no, I can't because he's not. Just wants to ignore you again. Oh god. Damn dogs. What? Hello. Hang on. Oh my god. It is streamer mode because that time I heard it join and I'm not in streamer mode. Okay, so it, when I'm in streamer mode, I can't hear the entrance. And you are. You're on 0%. Hello. I Hello. have turned you up. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh my like, god, I can hear you! Is it, is it fixed? <laughs> it's, it's fixed. Yeah, you're on 0%. I don't know what we were last playing, but it must have been in-game. Thank you. Thank I you for letting me right. fix your audio. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome, Purge, to the stream. Yeah, they're uh, woofy in that. Because they're doing cooking, look, so they did Nuke Cola Quantum. And then ah. one mac and cheese, and then the rad stag stew. Pretty Is that cool. Tambo? Yeah. 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 Oh. Unless it's just. Yeah, I don't know. The, I don't Anton know what Cole? they did to the new call. I can't I, I, hear Minx. I can't Silver. He's not. Know. He's not in the server. Oh no, my settings are. So up. That's why. He's. I can't. When he's not in VC, I can't adjust. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I have to do it specially. Okay. Oh, yeah, how did you do the Nuka Cola? Sorry, if I may ask. So tonic water uh, has a, sub a substance in it called quinine, which glows under a black light. Mm. I he tricked me. I thought it was like he'd managed to get hold of something really special, and it's just tonic water. <laughs> yeah, the the cesium that I poured in was sugar. Was it good? No, it's terrible. The tonic water tastes like <laughs> fucking just garbage. It's super bitter. It's disgusting. I was going for uh, form over uh, function. I like um, I like I like gin and tonics at least. It must be the gin because I think the tonic. Yeah, tastes terrible. we agreed. We don't like tonic. Uh, yeah, I have to invite him to a server each time. 
the bloody entrance to this place? Like, Payday 3 crashes stream. Payday 3? Yeah. Payday? Everyone wants to play Payday 3. Oh, oh, right. I haven't played Payday 3 in so long. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I can't adjust. But, um... I've already told you ten penny more than now zombies live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not me. That's damn you. For the last time... It's not about Roy Phillips. Oh my god. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours. All of you. You won't get away with that. Yeah. Okay, I guess I didn't get away with Oh, he didn't care. All right, then. Is this Tenpenny's house? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What are you editing, Paige? Uh, my Spider-Man stuff currently, but I'm going to actually not tell Paige, and I'm going to put it takes two on, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Yes, do it. Okay, I'll watch. I'll watch that. I'll watch. I'm that not joking. Version. Paige was no shit. Getting really angry. Like it was really, really funny. Yeah, like she got <laughs> like probably the angriest I've ever seen her. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, I do want to watch that. I'm gonna cry. It was like cause, I don't know if you've seen like it takes two before, but like the yeah. section, not like you really. work together like. So basically, like at one point, you have to shoot a nail for them, like the other person to grab onto and swing to. And yeah. you can pull the nail halfway throughout when they're going to leap for it or when they're hanging onto it. Yeah. And I did that about 10, 20 times. Oh my <laughs> so god. Oh she my hit god. me like a few times. It was pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to see this. Tell me when it's up. <laughs> oh fuck, that's so funny. It's um, a super fun game. It is. Yeah. Really. I was like surprised. It was quite difficult too play it. Someone was playing it with their good. partner and I can't remember who it was. Uh, uh, I was playing it with my partner at the time. I feel like maybe it was Toy Reaper. I love this guy's voice. He owns this building. We get our caps. Was it Wheat and You? you forget it. Yeah. Huh? I think it was Wheat and You as well. But there was definitely a female I watched. No, no, there was someone with females watch. I've like watched there was a stage when everyone was playing it, like I every time I went on. And so there was a couple of people I watched. But there's someone that I watched a bit more. Like there was like a cannon thing they were trying to do. And they were getting really angry about. And that was definitely the gun. Fancy that. A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. That's not that's... all of these complaints. Yeah, that's your English guy. They're about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. That's I'm not that an English accent. So, what yeah, it sounds more like a Texan landowner. Like the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? Yeah. I dare say. What? Uh, I'm gonna build this tower. You just found it, and moved in. Big fucking deal. Yeah. Say, must you be so caustic? Come now, a lot of work went into turning this husk of a tower into a place people can call home. I've had help, of course, especially in Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man, who certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done. Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. Hmm. All right, then, time for a new... Uh, for everybody that came in to watch the Fallout uh, cooking stream and this subsequent Fallout 3 stream, I wanted to say very much thank you. <laughs> I hope you all had a lot of fun and enjoyed watching it and the weird bits that we tried to do with the stupid character that I was. Yay. I didn't think I would to this, this, so I'm excited. No, make it work. No. Wait, you know, what the fuck's going on? He, uh, he blew up a town. Just nuking Megaton. What? Holy fuck. Stole the people. 
Yeah, they would not be... Whoa, I hadn't seen this before, actually. I feel like that's a little bigger than my thumb. Yeah, I feel like you guys should not have survived that. All this bright light and wind has... My God. What transcendent beauty. Oh, my God. This, I don't I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> okay. I just All right. Well, here, I'll show you a, another neat thing. And this actually since you hey, never there it is. You? Oh. This was the reference Whoa. I was making earlier. Explosion. What happened? What? Oh, I made this reference earlier during the stream and I I didn't know that you'd never bombed uh Megaton before. This is what happens to Moira when you she becomes Henry. a ghoul. Overnight? Oh, that's a real nice thing to say. Of course it's me. Oh. What's with the weird look? Don't you remember who I am? Did you hurt your head in that big explosion? A, a ghoul? What? Me? What do you... Huh? Why, why am I a ghoul? Is this because of that explosion? Actually, this isn't too bad. I always was curious to do some tests involving ghouls. Know anywhere where a ghoul like me can settle down? Uh, good luck. You know, this oh. is just the perfect excuse to visit Rivet City. But while I'm heading downtown, I've been meaning to check out the museum. Who knows what I'll find? Anyway, see you downtown, one way or the other. I just want to use my channel points before we take them down on my <laughs> Another one. Where's Deputy Weld? <laughs> See, this was the entrance, I think. Yes. <laughs> that made me way too happy. There he is. Oh my god. Do you think we're gonna make it to midnight? This is what I'm trying to figure out, is whether we can stay up and raid Probable's cooking stream, or if I should be finding someone. You should be finding someone for what? Raiding. Oh my god, everyone know, is playing like, Power World. She's so positive. But, I mean, if anybody's played Nuka World, um, they know that her ghoulification is not canon. Oh, really? What? Yeah, this is just a what if thing. You could find her you could find her again in the Nuka World DLC. Something in game not be canon, that's so weird. For yeah, I know, a game it. with multiple endings. I mean I can do it, but for for Wolfie it's currently um four thirty. <laughs> yeah, four thirty in the morning. And he's done a work day, so haven't you? Can't remember. Yeah, I did a work day and then I yeah. came home and and all that stuff. More. My man just got crumpled. Did you see that shit? Um. Yo, you good? Oh. Wow. Hey, hey, thanks for killing this guy. Oh. Is that power armor? That's not good. Yep, that's Enclave. I'd run to the Enclave this fast. This thing's fire so strangely. Die, machine man. Damn it. I should have just healed. Uh, Trisha did not work on my well. part. Thanks what? again for your oh. part in paving the way towards Frog. I think fire is so strangely. Like, I want it to fire really fast, but it just doesn't want to.
Oh, that's right. The Fallout Boy like stops time, does it? Oh, the bats. Oh, yeah. yeah, the bat that's system. It, sorry. Yeah. Pick things up again. I think I tried to put into the vote you play the Fallout series this year and it didn't get the vote, so I was like, damn it. There we are. There you go, Ten Penny. I'll let you watch the just one last time. Oh. I was, I was surprised Fallout didn't get more votes, to be honest. Yeah. Goodbye, Ten Penny. You got what you wished for anyway. You got fucking amnesia. I'm actually excited. Go ahead, let's break. I'm actually excited. I haven't really seen all of amnesia. Like, I think I watched PewDiePie play, like, one of them years ago. But not Yeah, I've ready. never seen the whole thing myself. The whole thing, yeah. So I'm actually genuinely excited to, to actually finally see it. Wait, if it was multiplayer, I'd do it with you. But it's not. No, oh, well. <laughs> Is it not? No. Is it not? I, I thought a machine for pigs was at least multiplayer. Oh, God, is it? Is it really? Come on. Uh. No. No. Uh, do you want to transition to other yeah. thing? Because I'm going to shut this off. I can. Give me a second. Thank you for, thank you for giving me a warning. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I just the headache is getting worse. Aww. I don't know where it came from either. It's just like really sharp on the left side. There you go. Yeah, I could have positioned that a little better. Sorry. Oh, Hi, well. Bobby. Who are you gonna raid? Are we gonna wait? Who's available? Uh, oh, Dozy's playing some Alien Isolation. Holy shit. Mm hmm. That'd That's be a, a good one. Apparently, yeah. she's pretty entertaining to watch. For Alien she Isolation. Out? Like she gets scared. That's hilarious. I wish That's... that I could, um,. Play horror games like that, but I just like the way they are. I don't. I've, I've never been startled by one. That's um. I really like the aesthetic, and I just enjoy playing them. That's hilarious. Yeah, let's see Daisy. We haven't raided Daisy in a long time. I just um, like them very far away. And um, what the uh, horror game? Yep, just that. Uh, you can stay away. I like how obsessed she got with Doom's voice as well. It was pretty funny. Oh, she got. She loved his voice. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then she pointed out that Doom sounds like Morgan Freeman, and I was like, "That's right." Oh, actually, he does. And then we just made him do all these Morgan Freeman impressions forever. But yeah, <laughs> he sounds like Morgan Freeman. Never noticed. I just never noticed before. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna read out. Thank you to everyone for joining us in the wasteland today. Sorry to Purge for ignoring him for half an hour. <laughs> it's just super Technically, awkward. Technically, you're ignoring him for the whole stream. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do. I, I, I appreciated having you in, Purge. Yeah. And, and Thanks, we'll, okay. um, we'll figure out like this, another one. I'd like to say really quickly, you really rocked that suit, bro. <laughs> it's true, you oh, really yeah. did. It looks so good in it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, I was really so glad it, it it was so comfy when it came in. And the only problem was those little armband things. They're really shitty. Yeah, very well. I I'm very sweaty, DC. Apparently, <laughs> sweaty will feel alone. But please make a big deal when we visit Dozy and and post our emoji, our raid emoji, and I'll see you Thanks, guys Summer. again really soon. Streamers Abby, thank you very much. Bye.